are now watching Digital Online Showcase. Uh, so we, we, no we introduction, we just yeah. gonna we go kill all this okay. online showcase we in. Yeah. We here. Let's talk <laughs> DJ K Tone, DJ Squizzy Taylor. Yeah. It's Crang here. So do all right. Hey, I know it's sponsored. They got the free, free snap, we gotta move. I'm a stick key. I'm just I'm gonna get this. Uh drop king. It's me. Let go. Hey, for this and the hustle, I need some more leaks. I look in the mirror and talk to myself like you the shit. Uh, can't really be trusting these hoes, you know they be creeping and shit. Yeah, if you really love your guy, then put a leash on that little bitch. Hey, cause I'm a dog and he, uh, fuck a ball and eat me. Hey, y'all nigga really pee weeds and I'm the old fuck the G. Uh, get it, lame nigga glasses, cause I ain't seeing me. Yeah, feel her talking about a kid, uh, see me out of this street. Uh, hit the gas on a fuck nigga. I ain't no love for no bitch. I rap shit, I don't bang a bird. I'm straight, I'm straight. I'm back to work with a white collar. I'm ready to play with a million dollars. Damn! I ain't gonna do that. 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 I ain't gonna do <laughs> I'm trying to finish that mother kill me. What was that? What was that? I don't know. Yeah, this is online that showcase. I'm on jig up right now. Yeah, he's gonna redo it. <laughs> I'm on jig up right now. Top of my shit is you. Wow. For the people that watch, we'll kick that shit again, man. I ain't nothing but kick the flame. Again. Hold on, you know what I'm saying? Kick the flame, man. We kick the flame again. You know, I don't kick the flame right. again, man. SB surfs up. Right. It's your online right. showcase. It's our kids. We lay in and chicky, but we good. Yeah. We're going to start the, the booth right here. Right can't get in the booth. Right. Yeah. It's our booth. Let's go, SB. Let's go. Hey, finesse and hustling. I need some more leaks, yeah. I look in the mirror and talk to myself like you're the shit, I'm the shit. Can't really be trusting these hoes, you know they be creeping and shit. Hey, if you really love your guy, then put a leash on that little bitch, yeah. Cause I'm a dog and he, uh, fuck a ball and he me, yeah. I'm the real good B Weezy, I'm an old little G. Hey, get it, I ain't nigga glasses, cause they ain't seeing me. Feel talking about the kid, see me out of street street, hey, hit the gas on the floor, nigga. Ain't no love for no bitch, nigga. I ran a plate on Bank America, a couple swipes, and I'm straight, nigga. I'm back and forth with a white collar. Ran a plate for a million dollars. I take the bread from Mary Screen and flip the shit on the head of the problem. Yeah, play shit, man. Shit. Shannon Clay, Chicago. Shannon Clay, let's go. Okay, okay. Wait to be kicking. Yeah. Uh -huh. Catch on that. I'm about to get to the money, man. That's what I'm on. And if you ain't talking, no paper, man, just leave me alone. Your number look like Sam Likely up on my telephone. And so I answer and say, Shannon Clay is not at home. They say, Yeah, you're moving slick since you got that paper. I turn around and flip my weave like, Bitch, I'll see you later. I got a party on the beach, the food is getting catered. And I will let you come through, but bitch, you still a hater. Oh, oh, so, Keep playing. What's up? Seuss Rebel Waters. Here we go. St. Louis, what's happening? E, 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 e. Listen, uh, I do my dance today. Real. I got my pants today. Wow. Might go to France today. I got the pants today. Bought a new whip today. Oh, you're sick today. I'm feeling rich today. Smash. Hold up. Wait. I don't got no pace today. No day. Hold up. I think it was fake of the day. Mm -hmm. Hold up, wait, hold up, wait, hold up, wait, hold up, wait, yeah, 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 yeah,
slave kick. Slave kick. I'm a slave kicker. Slave kick. Hey, one thing I don't do, I don't save it. I don't save it. I'm passing it. Passing it. Tossing it. Tossing it. You can have it back. She. She tossed it. Tossed it. Yeah. Tossed it. Yeah. I'm yeah. back. I'm Tony. I'm from the D. Hey. I got a whole lot of homies from this. Oh, no. SB, that's Memphis. What up? Memphis. He reppin'. Uh-huh. Reppin'. That's Zeus. Zeus. That nigga Stephanie. Hey. Yeah. Yeah. Shannon Clay. Yeah. She reppin' the shot. Yes. Yes. Um, she called me the fly guy. The I fly am. Fly guy. <laughs> I ain't lying. I ain't lying. I don't wanna rep no more. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's cool. I'm gonna take a nap one. Hey. So, I'm tired. Hey. Birthday yeah. badge, 14. 14. I'm back. And I'm scorching. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm hot. Hot. Shout to Show me. Show me. Let me go pass out of this room. Ooh. Hey. Yeah. 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 I feel it. You tell me. You feel me? Hey. You feel me? It's the DOS. Yeah. We lit. Yeah. 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 We got Anthony Dan's in the building. Yep, no. And we don't have him in the building, but we got his video. Yeah. What is it yeah. Do it like I do it. Do it like I do it. Live on the DOS right now. Oh, yeah. Like EBT, even no BTS. I was missing meals, moving around like UPS. I did it all except let my mama see me stress. I was trying to map it out, word to GPS. Right. Trying to channel my network, word to CBS. They couldn't see the vision, now they gon' see me fresh. Pulled out a few racks, wiped down the BBS. Still made time, made a jug at the CBS. Do a dance, I'm 30 on a timepiece. Waking with a dime piece, you know how I came. Quarter to a half, to a whole, to a nine piece. I'm just trying to move this shit so I can find peace. Label junkie, fucking with the top. Brand. Recognize real, I ain't fucking with you all brands I'm all under the hood, I get to it Ain't nobody do it like I do it Do it like I do it, I run through it Let niggas walk over Sacrifices so many nights I had to start over Came up with the blueprints Niggas try to take my credit But got a mismatched shoe print I feel the hate looking at my plate I'm trying to spread my wings And teach my niggas how to elevate Can't quit, bounce back and win The gang gone soon as you close your eyes And try to count to 10 Two stepping on the black top I came from a broken home Lighting candles with a matchbox I grew up listening to 40 Stacked 140 Invested 30% of that in hired employees Still dreaming, you niggas scheming I fell back, ain't no I and team I can't relate to it I built a plan, put a date to it I know you niggas mad cause you can't do it like I do it. Do it like I do it, I run through it. No one can ever do it like I do Stay with egg balls like a nigga playing pool So good that it probably should have stayed in school But I'm on the I-40 turning bitches to a mule Under pressure, but the pressure make jewels Italian leather wrapped in this Benz cool. Watch your enemies and your friends too Cause nine times out of ten they knew the guys that slipped through I've been trying to keep it plain and simple Mama, baby, but these streets hella detrimental I drive her crazy cause this banging shit is what I'm into And a Mercedes gang signs hanging out the window The shit I done been on my mental It drive me crazy, got me feeling like my life in limbo It's not a maybe, gotta get it in, that's plain and simple Brand new 380, if you got it, I'm coming through your window Fast.
The Man. DOS, we are live. What the hell is going on? It is Quizzy Taylor with the legendary, the birthday boy, the motherfucking yeah. living logo, the Denver. Need to give him a statue, the one and only DJ K Tom. We are so here, DOS. What's happening, what's happening what's my happening? brother? Yeah. How you feeling? How you feeling? I wish I was feeling as good as you. How you feeling? I'm, I'm good. I'm sleeping. Yeah, likewise, man. You've been going hard Tired. though. Tired. You did it though. We made it. We did it. We made it. It's, made the, it. it's the fourth quarter, my brother. Man, we we here. We're gonna close it out. We're gonna close it out, man. Yeah, we almost uh messed up. Yeah, we but, fumbled. Yeah, we fumbled. But I mean, that happens. Yeah, yeah. you feel what I'm saying? Yeah. That happens. And after what we done been through this week, it's all right. Yeah, definitely. Because they they with us. You feel what I'm definitely. saying? Definitely. So before we start any show, we would like to give a big, big, big special thank you to our sponsors. Yeah. Shout out to the Gold Boys Five Five Three Five West Cofax. Yeah. Please visit them for your. They got the hardest clothes in the city. The best CBD products. They got a studio in there. Gold Lab. Go go rock with them on that. They got space if you need some event space. They got everything you need. It's a dope factory. Shout out to the Gold Boys and everything they're doing over yeah. there. Shout out to GBL Headquarters, now yeah. located in the Five Points. Yeah. Go rock with them. Listen, if you need studio time, if you need mix and mastering, if you need a photo shoot, if you need to shoot your video, if you need goddamn a tattoo, if you need your clothing line right, you need to go get your stuff embroidered. If you need... Uh, they got the health and fitness going on now. Yeah. Everything you can imagine, they're doing it at GBL headquarters. So shout out to GBL headquarters. Keep doing what they're doing now, located in the five points. And last but not least, shout out to our network for making it possible and giving us a platform to get our voices heard and be able to deliver our messages and, and give y'all the real culture and give y'all what y'all need. And we appreciate it. Appreciate appreciative of our network please support them go like share and comment on everything that got going on they got some dope shows support them definitely you did and we um you know we're closing out the birthday bash 14th annual 14th annual that's a blessing my brother hold on that's a blessing you feel me yeah, we've been going since Thursday. I think I turned 25 this year. I yeah. feel you. You feel me. You feel me. I'm so happy about it. You look and, good, uh, too. Thank you, brother. You look good. I appreciate you. Mm -hmm. And uh, we, got some, we got some guests, man, been rocking with me all week. Oh, man. You know what I'm saying? So we had to bring them to the DOS. It's yeah. only right. It's you know, only right. We brought them to the DOS. Uh, we're this, ain't, this ain't just any guest though. Bro. No, 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 no. Some, you brought some heat that no, you've been really, heat. that yeah. you really put the whole city on yeah. and and yeah. niggas really done tapped into what they got going on, yeah. all courtesy of you. And, and I, I they feel hard like, though. I feel like the city already. I feel like the city feels like they could be from Denver. Like, yeah, no, nah, they tapped we, in. We been rep, yeah, they've been so tapped they in. Tapped in. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But we want to introduce them. Yeah. To, right now to y'all live on the DOS. <laughs> I'm gonna start all the way to to my right. My bro my brother from Memphis, Tennessee. Yeah, he got man. one of music. the hardest songs in the music. country right now. <laughs> yeah, he made some of the best music. Music, music, music. 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 man. How you spell music? Music. music. Make sure you put the R in it. That's how you spell it. Music, man. Hold on, hold on. I ain't done. Hold on. I'm going to introduce you. I'm going to introduce you. Can you come out and tell me? I know. I'm going to say my shit, man. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. What else you got about him? Give me some good. My brother, all the way from Memphis, Tennessee, got one of the hardest singles right now just hit indie charts yeah it's brand new single called Modi go by the name of SB Surf yes yeah. sir before you say you surf something man the number one toast ever to play kick you understand you yeah. gotta understand that Jack this is how I kick in that yeah. so you know what I'm saying I wanna make sure they understand it for you they address me you know yeah. uh -huh. play kicker man I will. so nobody can't take my storms at any time man toast ever yeah. play kicker toast ever yeah. play kicker yeah. you know what I'm saying yeah. 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 that's your goal as you can tell he is from Memphis yeah, yeah. man <laughs> next we got a dope dope sister all the way from Chicago shaitan she fly, she gangster, all that, all in one. It's Chicago. She go by the name of Shannon Clay. Yeah. What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? Shannon, how you feeling? Good, I'm good. I go by the name of Shannon Clay because that's what my mama named me. Yeah, yeah. That's, yeah. Not, that's, yeah. Not, that's the yeah. government. That's the that's government. Might as well make some money if I'm taking my Yeah, come on, man. Yes, yes. yes. I'm so, feeling good. I'm glad for you. Okay. Dope. So her, dope. To her left. One of the dopest artists in, in the world, man. He's been doing it for a long time, man. This brother been rocking, shoot, what, what's this, two, about 20? 20, 20, about 20 now. Yes, you know what I'm saying? He used to go by the name of Rucker Puff. Yes, Formerly Rucker Puff. Yeah. He go by the name of Zeus Rebel Waters. Yeah. 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 Zeus, what's happening? Zeus. St. Louis. Good. 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 Good
Yeah, here with Squeezy, here with Child. You're not advised, my yeah, brother. You know what I'm saying? It's your birthday, man. On, on everything. Yeah. On everything. My, my, my DJ brother, yeah, my core is. DJ family, mm -hmm. been doing it for a long time. He got so many mix shows. He do five, four mix shows a week right now, do a yeah. podcast. Yeah. He really killing the game. Chicago repping. He go by the name of DJ Q Ball. Yeah. 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 Or DJs. DJ Q Ball out of Chicago. You know what I'm saying? Here to represent for my man K Tone. K Tone birthday bash 14. You know what I'm saying? And I told him just the other day, you know, when a person of his stature tell you to come to his town, you be there, you drop everything, and you be there. So mm -hmm. I'm here. That's, That's love. That's love, right I'm there. Thing, yes, we appreciate every last one of y'all for coming to Rock with us. Y'all could have been anywhere in the world. Yeah. Yeah. Tried the goddamn DOS with us. Yes. 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 Yeah, D. So check it out. So we, the, the DOS basically, we 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 started this, you know, to to give independent music a platform to be heard and mm -hmm. and and connect with DJs and connect with the people. You know what I'm saying? So every show, no matter what we're gonna talk about, we always start with the music because that's what brought us together. The music, but that's because that's what brought us together. You feel what I'm saying? So with y'all, with y'all's blessing, we would like to start with the music today. And all we ask is that y'all give an honest feedback of what y'all think. If that shit okay. is terrible, please say it's terrible. If it's awesome, please say it's awesome and support that artist. And you know what I'm saying? Give him a shout out, give him some love, and give him some positive feedback. You know what I'm saying? So if that's okay with y'all. That's how we're going to start this show. Is that cool? Yeah. Let's get it. You did. And if you're watching this live, wherever you're watching it, please like, comment. But please comment your feedback because y'all got to understand that y'all's opinion is way more important than y'all's opinion. It's about the people. It's not about what the hell we think. If the people like it, it don't matter what we think. So y'all's opinion is so important. So please comment what you think about these records. You did. So without no further ado, we're going to start it off like this. DNA Picasso. That's the name of the artist. DNA Picasso, the name of this record is Her Playlist. DNA Picasso, Her Playlist. Live on the DOS right now. Say I'm bad and I'm dangerous Ooh. Nigga since sixth grade Knew I wasn't meant for no day shit uh, You catch a 10th fade I'm not the nigga to play with no. Catch me if you can I'm running last for sure yeah. Bitch you better know My niggas try for sure Run off at the mouth We on your ass oh, yeah. If your bitch is bad I hit it then yeah. I pass the ball yeah. MJ bad, we fuck to the oldies. Let a man run up, I'm shooting like Kobe. These nigga fishy and choby. Spoil that high grade, now I'm moving slowly. Yeah, I got it lit. These yeah. niggas stuck in they bitch ways. Right off on the plug. Yeah, six times through that shit six ways. I'm on the west side smoking that palm tree, blowing up a pack. I'm shorty my type, I cop that. Niggas dealing swag, tell them stop that. They look at me like I'm big, bro. Every move that I made, niggas watch that. They give me up, up on my Everest flying, they still couldn't top that. I got her on lockdown, I'm on her playlist. She calling me MJ, she say I'm bad and I'm dangerous. Niggas since sixth grade, knew I wasn't meant for no day shit. You catch a 10th fade, I'm not the nigga to play with. No. Catch me if you can, I'm running last for sure. Bitch, you better know my niggas strive for sure. Off at the mouth, we on your ass, oh, yeah. If your bitch is bad, I hit it, then I pass the bro. Oh. Picasso, that record is called Her Playlist. DNA Picasso, Her Playlist. SB. I love it. I, I would like to see a dope visual with that one. Okay. I like, like, I like, I like the that? flow, the beat pattern. I love the melodic sound. Mm -hmm. I like it. You play that. Yeah, I will, yeah. Something okay. like that definitely. They put a campaign behind it. I think it'd be a great record. I know that's right. Yeah. Check that out. Okay, Shannon, what you think about that one? Yeah, I think the beat is hard. It's actually put together nicely. It's like, um, like you said, his melody patterns and stuff. Like, you make you make the song work. I can hear it on the mix show and stuff like that. I can hear it on the radio. 
Okay, talk about it. Okay, uh, uh, Zeus. I remember my comrades here. I think it's a dope record. Uh, I like to see a visual for it. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? See if his image matched the song. Make it you match. know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Kind of like hearing the record make you want to see yeah. what he look like, kind of sort of to see if it, you know, yeah, match. Bro, I like it. Shots off, bro. It's hard. That's what's up. Q ball. Yeah, that's a that's a hard record right there. That that record is working out. My mix show. Damn. Okay. Every last one of them. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Talk about it then. Shout out DNA Picasso. You heard that? Yeah. You better get it to him. Yeah. You better get it to him. That's is in different cities. That's important. You feel yeah. what I'm saying? And they rocking with it. You yeah. better do what you do. Yeah. I like that. Yeah, I definitely like that record. Fuck with that? Yeah. It's no record. Fuck with it? No record. Shout out DNA Picasso. Her playlist. It, I believe it's out. I believe he just dropped a project. So if you want to support him, if you're listening. Yeah. Support DNA Picasso. He's doing his thing. I think y'all of a roar. Shout out DNA. Okay. Up next, we're going to keep it lit. We ain't going to waste no time tonight. Up next, we got Mr. Midas. Mr. Midas. This record is called Amazing. Mr. Midas Amazing. Live on DOS. That pussy's amazing. That pussy's amazing. I call her banging. I put my face in. She drive me crazy, but ain't no replacing. Shit, she look famous. Body is banging. Shit like a lake, but that throat got her name. But that pussy amazing. That pussy amazing. I call her boring. We just be cooling. Them hoes got nothing on you. What they doing? And she look famous. Fight night, Iron Mike, Tina, Ike, beat the pussy, lay the pipe. Send a four, figure four, Undertaker, Jimmy, Snooker, Roddy Piper. Nasty nigga trying to match, trying to build, lock it down a hundred years. Had them all, she my dog, right or wrong, keep it real, I keep you here. Common goals, dominoes, mama know you, Keisha Cole and Keisha Cole. Real is rare, amount of shit, counterfeit, an ounce of this to feed the poor. She put that spell and I'm no lame. I just smoke tree and she go K. She make me laugh and stay in her lane. Yeah. I'm in the car on the plane. That pussy's amazing. Yeah, 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 yeah. That pussy's amazing. Yeah, 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 yeah. I call her banging. I put my face in. She drive me crazy, but ain't no replacing. Shit, she look famous. Body is banging. Shit like a lake, but that throat got her name. But that pussy amazing. Yeah, 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 yeah. That pussy amazing. Yeah, 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 yeah. I call her boom, we just be cooling. Them hoes got nothing on you, what they doing? And she look famous, that ass is banging. She like a leg and I don't get a head, but that pussy amazing. Hey, this. Hey, this. Mr. Midas, that record is called Amazing. That P is amazing. I might agree with him. Q ball. Just think about that, my brother. Well, the beat is riding. I really don't care too much for what he's talking about. Okay. You know what I'm saying? But, um,. Uh, the beat rack, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Um, it's a street record. Mm-hmm. Need a little bit more kinda, substance, you know. Yeah, a little bit more than that pussy's amazing. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I like to switch up. Shannon, what you think? Um, it's almost there for me, but it's it's something sonically about what I'm hearing. It's like I don't know if it's like what's called a flanger or something. It's like a, a different. Mm-hmm. It sounds a bit noisy in certain parts, so it kind of take away. So it's like I I I'll be riding with it, and then it'll take me away in that part. That part does something to me. I, that might just be me, but that part does something to my ear <coughs> with the music, and then it gets back clean again, and then it comes back and it be that. Mm-hmm. It's like almost somebody rattling some shit in my ear. So. <laughs> okay, okay. But so, right. I mean, the song is okay. I mean, we know our pussies be amazing. <laughs> not all of them. Yeah, no, not all of them. That's true. Now, that's true. Well, well, I, well, Drop the ball. I don't know. Drop I don't know. Drop the ball. Please. But then again. Just a couple. You know. Just a couple of you. 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 Just a couple of you
just cool. Okay. okay. You know what I'm saying? SB. Uh, as a writer, composer, I think the issue is he needs to go and reconstruct it. I think it's some stuff in that that needs to be taken out. You know, because he already made a statement with the place. It's amazing. So I think he just should go more of that. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Well, he, he started adding too much. Then the flow on the verse just, it went out over the place. Mm -hmm. If you're going to name, so he should start naming stick different to. women or different positions. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I think it just went left. But I think if you go back in and reconstruct it, bring it back, we well, might have given an opinion about it. You know what I'm saying? Even with the mixing part and stuff like that. So okay. that's what I think. I think you should go back and allow it and touch it up one more time. Yeah, tell them, okay. talk about how amazing it is. Tell like, them to call us. your creativity yeah, and talk about something. how amazing yeah, it is. do something. Yeah. If he called yeah. us to, to pay us to recompose it, yeah, it'd do something. You know? <laughs> <laughs> that's what <it> work. <laughs> you make it work. But I'm saying, if you read the structure, I yeah. think quick little sit on in the club, I yeah. think the hook at least would kind of, you know, catch something yeah. okay. if you reconstruct it a little bit of it. Okay. Yeah. Shout out Mighty, shout out Mighty, shout out to the Doobie Club. Yeah. That record is called Amazing. Yeah. Up next, Squad, we got They Call Him AP. This record is called Bleed. They Call Him AP, Bleed. Yeah. Feel like I already made it, I'm out for the greatest shit I ever seen. Look, this shit too easy, it's hard as me getting your bitch out of jeans. <laughs> Fuck it, we famous out here in my city, they know who to bring. Look, pay what you pocket, or you ain't too popular, they know it between us. You niggas rocking the what? Feel like I'm out for the killing, I tell them they hop to the ceiling when I say the jump. Can't really fight, get the feeling, gon' make niggas hop and they feeling too hyping them up. Running your mouth with no menaces with you, I'm right in your kitchen, we right to the stunt. We gon' get right to the business, the meetings they call it like somebody knifing you up. Chop it like we got the stretcher, but this shit is pure. My necklace with diamonds and nuts. Shining no niggas, I rightfully get it. They not gon' forget it, I'm finally up. Niggas who don't really know me, act like we been homies. They know we ain't nice with the stuff. I was the one trying to do it, you couldn't get through it. Your business ain't piping you up. Baby, you lacking, I rack up my average and try to go right for the sun. More than this shit I was catching, I'd rather go double it. Niggas ain't grinding enough. I was the Simon who said it when shit got inside of your head and you did what I want. I ain't promising nothing, but pressure these niggas is not finna set it. They time of the month. Damn, go, bleed, uh, sorry. I'm out for the greatest shit I ever seen. This shit be too easy. It's hard as me getting your bitch out of jeans. I run it like I got the hang of this shit. If you dangerous, they know not to stand in between. Them dollars, your product of patience is not to be famous, but so much can come with the cream. So count up as much as you can. Run up a check, but no, I never ran. I was solid as stone, and no, I'm the blam. I shoot it like I was a student to this. If you foolish enough, come and hop in the van. The bigger one, then they hit Ricky. We don't get the vision, and this one the top of the man. Let it go for I let anyone see what I got in my pants. Pocket rocket, make niggas. <laughs> yeah, bleed. Yeah, say. They call him AP Bleed. Bleed. They call him AP Zeus. What you think about that, my brother? That's hard, man. I uh, I love to hear when people when people rap, and even if they rapping fast, it's yeah, like clear. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You can understand every word that he was saying. So definitely, uh, definitely a hard record, street record, mixtape record. I feel like a hard and visual. I can just imagine the visual just being like super cinematic, or maybe simple, simple but cinematic. Okay. You know what I'm saying? But it's a hard record. I like it. That's hard. Okay. Uh, I keep trying to change the order. Uh, SB, what you got? No, like I said, it's a cool record. I think it's a good, good feeling. Like I said, good uh, mixtape album feeling. Uh, like I said, you shoot the video right. Mm -hmm. It'll be pretty interesting to see how he, you know, shoot that. But you can tell he can rap. You know, he's a rapper. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So that's pretty cool. Okay. Cuba, what you think about that one? Yeah, it's definitely a ride. <clears throat> um, fill a, like you say, a fill a, fill a joint. You know what I'm saying? Um, but it's ride, though. It's mm -hmm. decent. Like, Shannon, you want to add something? Uh, he's on point lyrically. I think the beat is a little simple for what he doing, in my opinion. I mm -hmm. think if it had a hot, uh, uh, is that the beat we was rapping over? That's not the beat we was rapping over. It, yeah, it, right? it gives me the same vibe, you know what I mean? Yeah. So it's like, like what he talking about is real. And like he said, it's, it's very clear. You can understand. You close your eyes and you can hear every word that he's saying, but it's like, 
If the beat was harder, I think it'd hit harder. That's what's up. That's what's up. But it's a good song. It's a good song. I'm not taking anything away from it. It's a good song. Shout out, they call him AP. Call him AP. My brother, my family. We just shut uh, Atlanta down the other day. Shout out him. Shout out Nay Renee and everybody who did that. Shout out to what that was. Um, last one. Last one. Last one. This record is called Demon Time. Demon Time. Ten of Ten Birds featuring High Card the Low. Demon Time. With the beam, sit it out my scope, that bitch was green. With the gang, we all got, he's got on my lap, chopping on my seat. I'm on your hand, like it in my street. These bitches be cap, get off my feet. Don't need no man, feet if I don't be cheap. Getting cracked out, home a freak. Double back with the flap and eat. Smack and mash your plate like a beast. Crazy ass nigga that was raised on the east. Hating ass niggas gon' hate on the peak. In my reach, get slapped with the piece. Press to take off and the score last week. Fuck what it cost, bitch, I'm a G. Can't hold them off for the time to feast. I'm going off and to crack your teeth. Gun his ass down with the Mac, no G's. Spare a couple rounds. At the back of this jeep. Mickey Mouse niggas, they gon' run and tell the vice. Bird gang the label, we outside on demon time. Mickey Mouse niggas, they gon' run and tell the vice. Bird gang the label, we outside on demon time. Hey, niggas keep hollering about war. They gon' fuck around and make me up the score. Check your name on my list like a chore. Put that on God, speak on me, we at your door. It's Bird Gang and Label, my nigga, these niggas out here hating cause they ain't able, nigga on God, nigga. These niggas is real Mickey Mouse, nigga. Real ready to tell, nigga. Real ready to talk about something, nigga. We out here on demon time, nigga. Full court pressure, I wish a nigga would, nigga. Touch the jewel, look at the jewel, nigga. Look at somebody on this team wrong, nigga on God, nigga. We Yankees, nigga. Don't matter, we Yankees, nigga. Bird Gang and Label, the plug is locked in the cable, nigga. I'ma spank some, nigga. They gon' spank some, nigga. Stay in your lane, nigga. Your motherfucking funny looking ass to work. Make it for your bar call, nigga. <laughs> That is 10 of 10 birds featuring high card the low. That record is called Demon Time. Demon Time. Niggas talking. Okay, uh, what order I went in? Shannon, go first. Oh, I, I knew you was going to come. Yeah, nigga, you ain't went first yet. Damn. Um, so I'm from Chicago, right? Talk we got about a lot of drill, drill music, but I ain't into, I ain't into drill music. Okay. But there is, um, I think there's a lane for that. 
um, the song made me feel like I was getting killed. <laughs> it's like, it's that energy. It's like when you play it at the song, it's like something gonna happen afterwards. Mm -hmm. That's the energy it gave me. Not, you know, like I said, there's a, um, there's a line for it, so I don't take it away from it, but yeah, it just gave me a little eerie feeling. Okay, um, what do I, okay, uh, 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 where I go? Twin. Cue ball. Cue ball. Um, that record, I don't know, man. It's kind of like on the, it's kind of on the rail for me with that one. You know what I'm saying? I'm really not feeling that one too much. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. That's it. Uh, SB. Um, I'm going to go with, it's different for the young boys, man. The boys on Damon time, or uh, he's speaking the language of them. You know, I will say that. Like, uh, I, I have heard my worst. You know what I'm saying? But I, I knew off the bus with Demon Time we were going. So them young boys, that's what they on. They just on killing and beef and, you know, it's whatever with them. So I think the young boys might like it. I went in because at first I was going to say re-record it because it's kind of distorted. But the way they ears function, they just they just want to hear you talking about killing folks. You know, Damon Time, so you know, he might got something if he can prove it. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's going to cost him a little bit, but if he's proven, I'm pretty sure that he's doing. You know what I'm saying? Just being nothing. No, no doubt. doubt. So. No doubt. Zeus, you want to ask him? Uh, the beat was cool. It was an okay record. Um, maybe for the club. Like SB said, for the, you know, for the young folks. Mm -hmm. uh, fuck it, I just got to get my personal opinion. I, but I really like <laughs> to get to the point where... We stop talking about killing yeah. each other. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And then if we in if, and if in a record, I was just talking about this in a record. If you are gonna talk about killing somebody, like give us the pros, the cons, give us the whole scenario of Kill why them. you killed them and how did you feel when you went to bed at night? Like you know what I'm saying? I just think at this point it's just kind of hella basic just to be like, I'm gonna kill you, and then put a beat behind it. Mm -hmm. But don't ask me, I'm worried. Shout out to the bird game. Shout out to 10 of 10 birds. Yeah. High card, the low. That one is called Demon Time. My, 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 I just want to throw this out here. Me and K Tone said it when we was off screen. I was just turned down the ad libs. The ad libs was just too loud. Yeah. Changed the whole record. Yeah. Just turned down the ad libs and we might hear that complete song different. You feel what I'm saying? It was just too loud. It was just a, a whole lot going on. You know what I'm saying? That, that would be my advice with that. But um, we appreciate it. We thank we thank we thank everybody who submitted this week. Um, DOS Digital Online Showcase. If you do if you do want to submit a record yeah. to DOS Digital Online Showcase at gmail dot com. Along with a ten dollar cash app to Money Sign Squizzy Taylor. If you want your video played, like we played Anthony Danza, like you're about to see the video in about five <clears throat> to ten seconds, send a twenty dollar cash app and we can premiere your video. We can make sure it look really good and make sure that the people see it live on the DOS. You know what I'm saying? Just send us the YouTube link and we can do it like that. Yeah. And and and. <laughs> yeah, so we do. I'm already. I'm already. But what I do want to do, I want to talk to our guest though. Yes. For a second. Yes. Oh yeah, let's get into that. I, get into I thought we were gonna do some this quick dialogue. Look, come on, let's go. We'll get into some quick dialogue, man. First, real quick, before we really get into it, I want everybody to introduce themselves real quick, yeah. man, and give them a little history on yourself. And I'm gonna start with Cuba. Talk that cool oh. shit too, man. I'm pulling up. Um DJ Cuba out of Chicago. Uh, core DJs, uh, got a few mix shows on radio, different markets. Um, got my artist here with me, Shannon Clay, and uh, that's about it. Okay, well, we can go straight to Shannon then real quick since you kind of already did that. <laughs> <laughs> Shannon, talk to him real quick, give him a little background on, on, your, on yourself. Something on my teeth. What's up? <laughs> What's up, everybody? My name is Shannon Clay. I'm a singer-songwriter from Chicago. Uh, I'm currently, uh, well, I'm mostly R&B, hip hop, um, you know, so that's what my music is. I currently have a single on YouTube. It's called, mm, but some men don't like to him. Mm, so call it MMM. Search Shannon Clay MMM. That's my latest single. And we're also pushing, um, on the, on the club side, my single year. So we got a plaque for, uh, a YouTube plaque for MMM. 
Um, I think we just reached 369,000 or something views. And um, I, I was I charted for a year on the di uh, digital radio tracker, independent global artist thingy number 50. So, yeah, that's what we're doing. We're just pushing this, right, this music and we're working. New music coming. Follow me on uh, Sh Shannon Clay on Facebook, Shannon underscore Clay 821 on Instagram. And I am Shannon Clay on Twitter, Shannon Clay on YouTube. Yes, indeed. They better follow Shannon Clay. She has I know that's she right. Talking shit. SB. Talking yeah, shit, young guy. Yeah, number one toast ever the flag kicker, man. I told you before, SB search up Drought King Music. I'm one of the few artists that ain't been broke or fold for nobody, man. I stand for something and that's what it is. Mm -hmm. uh, I've been in this business quite some time. I put the work in a long time ago. I, I you know, so I walked the pavement. You know what I'm saying? I took the steps out the elevator. Uh, like I said, I always stay so solid and true to myself, and like I said, it's all about progression, and that's what I'm on. Uh, mode is out right now, top 100. I'm going for that number one, get that platinum plaque, and then keep moving on. Speak everything to existence, and that's what it is. Kicking my flag with my guys over here, DJ K Tone, birthday bad. Like I said, don't forget Drop King Mary, one of the biggest things coming, on, and I'm telling you. On everything. I yeah, know that's yeah. right. Okay. When you get that plaque, what you gonna do? Give y'all one. Yeah, be. Yeah, 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 I'm going on a plaque to a delivery. I'm that's right. right. That's right. I know that's yeah, right, my G brother, and we right there yeah. with you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Zeus Rebel Waters, talk to uh, us. Zeus Rebel Waters, extraordinary artist from St. Louis, Missouri. Uh, father, actor, songwriter. Uh, new reality show on YouTube right now. It's called I Need Love. So mm -hmm. me. Me trying to find love, so tap in on my uh, Instagram and uh, click the link in my bio. Watch episode five, new single out right now. Love going crazy. The tour start next week. Uh, what else? Hey, shit, man. I said, he was high school teacher in America, man. Like, can I help you find so, love on this show? So, right. I sort of got it. I was about to, yeah, go, was about to yeah, backpedal man. real quick. Yeah. Because I take reality yeah. TV show. Yeah. Reality yeah. TV yeah. show. Yeah. So you got like. You said it's called Find Love? What is it? No, it's called I Need Love. I L Need Love. L-U-V, like the song, L-U-V. I Need Love. So yeah. you got about 10, 10 little shorties on there trying we to start, find we love started, with you? We started with like 12. Now we down to the last four. Wow. Oh, so yeah, Damn. we just got different you know, scenarios. I'm going on dates with them. Right. Doing different stuff with them. Was they all bad when you started? All bad. Uh, yeah, I mean, it depends on what you like. I had all, I had all, all kind of flavors. flavors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We had some Damn. Yeah, Big, small, skinny, tall, you know, whatever. Black, is you, white, so, so now yeah. you're on episode five. Yeah, episode five is out right now. Um, How did so they we find got it? one more episode to go. It's on YouTube. YouTube? It's, uh, go on YouTube, put in Zeus Rebel. I need love. Watch episodes one through five, y'all. You know, subscribe, so, comment, yes. let me know. Uh, so so yeah, are you really are you really now that you're at episode five, I don't want you to spoil it, yeah. right? Yeah. But is you is you feeling some type of love? Like, oh my God. Is yeah, it really right. working for you? Like is you is you feeling some type of love? Is it you know what I'm saying? Is it is it a vibe going on? Is it yeah. real or is it just TV? No, 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 no. It's real, man. It's um you just gotta watch the show. You gotta it's, watch it's, it. it's, it's a lot going on. Okay. And uh, shout out to all the ladies that that was involved in uh, doing this, and even everybody that got eliminated. No hard feelings. No, but yeah, tell us this because you, know, you yeah. told me yesterday there's a difference between L O V E and L U V. That's facts. Oh, uh, so you ser you searching for L U V? Well, no. Nah, Explain the L U V for I tell you the difference. The difference in my mind this is my opinion. L O V E is like how you love, like. Yeah, high school sweet or how you really, really unconditionally love, you know what I'm saying, somebody. And I think L U V for me is kinda like lust, but it's still kinda like love. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's like a little it's like a blend, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like so lust. You can love Shorty. You can really love Shorty. You can love Shorty, but you might not, like 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 not want to be with Shorty. Type shit. Yeah. 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 So, See, I've been saying that for a while. I need to come on now. You love somebody with it. Let me get season two. If it don't work, if it don't work, we don't have to do season two. I need love them. Hey, man, we got to be spoken I need season two. You know, have SB come be a judge. Sis come up and do you know what I'm saying? Like, uh, we, had to, we had to eliminate some people was mad about being eliminated. Like, mm -hmm. so yeah, I, I gave them little chains and shit with the, with a Z on there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I gotta go watch that. I gotta watch that. I got my kids in there. I need love. I need love. The Squizzy Taylor edition. Coming soon. 
all 20. Ain't yes, nobody man. getting eliminated. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I got a different flavor every day. I'm like, I'm going to be better than them. They're going to be better out of here. You good, man. This ain't your day. Yeah. Just wait till tomorrow. Wait till tomorrow. How you back? You go ahead with them. Yeah, I don't know. I'm going to be 12. Nah, for sure. That's lit, though, man. Please go support that. Please go check that out, man. We're going to add that to the comments. Y'all yeah. can go check that out on YouTube for sure, man. Yes, Shout out to him. That's yes. dope. But it's, 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 it's important to do, you know, man, different things music. and branch out instead of just doing music, man, yeah. for, for your brand. Mm -hmm. um, I want y'all to talk about that a little bit, man. Um, I know Q-Ball, you do a lot, you know, not just DJing, but, you know, you got your own podcast. You do some other things. I'll talk about the importance of not just DJing and, and you know, branching off into other ventures. Yeah, um, man. Um, well... Yeah, just being a DJ, first of all, you got to move around. You know what I'm saying? You can't just be stagnant and just stay in one spot. You got to move around. You got to create situations for yourself. Mm -hmm. And you got to keep your relationships tight. Well, you know what I'm saying? And um, <clears throat> that's basically that. Now, as far as like what I do, I'm a DJ. I got my podcast that drops every um, Saturday at 10 p.m. It's called Conversations with Q-Ball. It drops on YouTube nice. um, and also comes on, on the Blaze927.com, nice. based out of Houston. Um, Power 109, they just picked it up. So, <laughs> so yeah. Yeah. Shout yeah. out to Blaze and them over there, yeah. Power 109. Yeah. Keep doing what y'all doing. Salute. Yeah, so, and I also uh, got my own studio where I, you know, record artists, mm -hmm. um, do a lot of Shannon Clay work there. And, um, that's basically it. Oh, so you engineering as yeah, well? Yeah, engineer, mix and master. Yeah, I do everything. And going crazy. Shout out Q-Ball went crazy last night on Theta. <coughs> you know the vibes, I see. That's dope. Uh, SB, touch on kind of the same thing about making sure you, you branding yourself and putting yourself in a position to win and not, you know, putting all your eggs in one basket. That yeah. makes sense. I, and I've always been big on the branding aspect. I always said I want to be a hot artist, not just have hot records, because mm -hmm. you kind of last longer. Uh, <clears throat> but you have to be careful with it, you know what I'm saying, because a lot of critics. Mm -hmm. But um, I, I had started something to tame, uh, kicking my play with SB Surf Up. It's kind of like barbershop talk. Okay. Well, for me, for you to come on my show, you got to be authentic and organic. You can't, like, you got to really, the stuff you think that you don't say, you got to go and see it or don't come. Because that's how I am as a person. I'm really, yeah. I'm going to speak on it. You know yeah. what I'm saying? That's so, how we try to be here. Yeah. So I, yeah, and, uh, I was having this conversation my manager when we was kind of trying to figure it out. But I told him, I said, you know, the difference is, a lot of these cats just showcasing how lame they really are. You just never knew. Mm -hmm. See, I'm really? solid for real. Mm -hmm. You can check the background. So when I get to speaking for him, I'm like, nah, dude, been run he that's him. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? So I think if you ain't really like that, don't create something that you can't keep up. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. people do their background checks. So you just got to be careful with it. But I'm just always into putting my brand out there so I can be a household name. Mm -hmm. So from the clothing line to talking about me doing mental health, you know what I'm saying? Stuff like that. I just kind of <clears throat> let people in on that organically and build throughout that. That's why I like him with the reality show. You know what I'm saying? Because that's really dope. And um, my CEO, he write movie scripts. Oh, so, right. and I, I always wanted to do acting mm -hmm. before music. So music was kind of like a dope outlet for me. So, mm -hmm. um, I think never just focus on the music. I always start, well, you know, once you get situated in music, just start kind of yeah, branching yeah. and putting other things in place too to help you grow. Now, you make a very good point, man, because <clears> a lot of, I think something that happens now with there being so much music is that music. <laughs> that, 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 you can know a song and not know who the fuck yeah. sing the song. Yeah. Yeah. That happens a lot. You know what I'm saying? A song could be bigger than the artist. Mm -hmm. You feel what I'm saying? So what you're saying is I want to be a hot artist, not have yes. a hot song. Because yes. I'm not I'm not going to name drop nothing, but there's plenty of songs where if I play the song, everybody in here sing. But if I say, who sung this bitch? Or y'all know which card? I'm like, I don't know who that is. And I play, like, oh, that's the nigga that's seen the... Yep. You know what I'm saying? And, and that's why I wanted TikTok to be my last campaign. Absolutely. My first campaign was to initially meet all my DJs, go see the city, kiss babies, hug people so they can know me. Mm -hmm. I don't care how long it take. You know, everybody like, well, it just take three months now. You're a lie. Mm -hmm. Some stuff still take eight months to a year if you do it the correct way. Yeah, if you speed the process, like you said, we sing your song but don't know you, you don't capitalize because we just push you to the back. Yeah. When you become a hard artist, 
you just survive. Because they say, well, he ain't doing nothing over here, but we can put him on this. We yeah. put him on that. You start surviving off of that. You know what yeah. I'm saying? You can't pay me just to have no hot record, bro. I'm going to turn that down. You, you can't put a plan behind it. I'm straight. Absolutely. You brought up a good point, man. And K-Tone, this might touch K-Tone a little deep. Because he's been arguing about this shit for a couple months, man. And I'm, I'm going to start with Shannon. <coughs> So there's been an argument on uh, the clubhouse and all the social medias. Is clubhouse still popping? Nope. Never mind. Okay. It don't matter. Don't that doesn't matter. That's not my point. But the <laughs> argument is, in order to break a record, in order to to take that next step in in what you're doing your campaign, the DJ might not be as important because if you get it cracking on TikTok, you ain't no goddamn DJ. It's already cracking on TikTok. Am I saying this correct? Mm-hmm. So. I, Shannon, I'm gonna start with you. What do you think? Do you think the DJ is still as important as it once was, or can you just get your shit popping on TikTok or or on social media or on the internet in general? And is that a better way to go than go through the DJs or you know? I'm asking a lot of questions, but I you know what I'm getting saying, at? Huh? Yeah. What do you think about that? Um, and don't piss Kate on off, please, because no, we don't no, talk about no, 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 no. He don't be <laughs> yeah, I'm joking, I'm joking. But, um, Tell the truth, though. Oh, I am. I am. The thing about what if internet, what if the internet stops right now? Mm-hmm. What if I TikTok mean, shut done. the fuck down right now? Mm-hmm. What do you have behind that? So we got to learn how to go, kind of go back to the analog kind of way of doing things, and we got to touch the people that's pushing the music. I mean, how can you get your music out without a DJ? And I think a lot of people, I, a lot of things that's going on is the DJ uh, and the artist. You got some of them that have a relationship that the DJ may think they better than the artist or the artist think they better than the DJ when everybody needs to bring that together and everybody going to eat because if, if if the DJs and the artists get together and then the DJs and the DJs get together and the artists and the artists get together and support all each other, everybody's shit finna spread like mm-hmm. wildfire and that's how records get broken. You know what I mean? So I'm, 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 in, I'm always interested in watching how the relationship between the artist and the DJ can make the record break because that's what we experience right now really. with us sitting on this couch. Now, let me play devil's advocate though because there's records that I would never play that and I, are popping on TikTok and they can sign for millions of dollars. So look at the other side of that, that there's records that the DJs, whether we support it or not, got billions of views on TikTok and no DJ is fucking with it or not, but now they, you know what I'm saying? They, they take it off and do it. They just shut up in six months and they gonna owe out it. And then, because okay. you gotta bring, you gotta think about it. They get signed, but that don't mean that's the end game. That's okay. just where it starts. Mm-hmm. Okay. Now, how do you run this when the record already mm-hmm. left you? Mm-hmm. It's gone. Right. Now I need number two. Now what if you where is it? Right. Now right. everybody saying that's a one hit wonder. Yep. You did already. Yep. Yep. So that, that money is shelf. You're a shelf. So do you think that? Do you think that record number two doesn't have... What does that record number two have to do with the DJ? Well, I'm and saying, I'm just playing devil's advocate. You know where I sit in right. the game, but... But this is what I'm saying. You get longevity with DJs. And I'm saying that I'm going to fight there until they take every DJ out of every club and put a robot there and spin records. Mm-hmm. We right here for this man. But This man been doing it 14 years. He had major artists every time. Absolutely. The first year he got independent artists. Mm-hmm. That, we just shut down that club. We packed it out with independent artists based on relationships. Mm-hmm. That record mode ran based off DJ relationship, not because of TikTok online. And I got a chance to live so long with mode because mm-hmm. we creating it step by step. Mm-hmm. It can't leave us. Yeah. So that's why I said at the end, I'm not knocking internet campaigns. I'm saying they need to be in the campaign, not your main source. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. If we finna go get a lot of dope, and then we ain't got nobody to sell it. What we doing? Just sitting on right. it. Right. You gonna get robots to do it? Right. You selling a product? Right. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? So when you you putting it in, in the hands of robots, mm-hmm. then we talking about analytics, numbers that can be manipulated. Right. right. Mm-hmm. Type in uh gangs on sp- playlist and views and all that. Watch how many sites pull up. So who the real artists? Right. Mm-hmm. Who really doing it? You know the yeah. ones that y'all know, cause them labels still gonna call. Yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. 
You see what I'm saying? So I'm, I'm not knocking the whole internet analytic game. I'm saying don't let that be the source. All those TikTok campaigns have left every artist that had this shit going. Or the person that created dance more harder than the rapper. Now has this. Yeah. How do I get paid if you get booked for my song? Yeah. Right. Junebug getting booked more than the dude that rapped <laughs> yeah. the song. Yeah. Doing this. Hoes home. <laughs> now think about this. Why you can't invite me to perform with you? Right. He ain't even extended right. the hand to come. So, so who winning? Yeah. And just to piggyback oh, off that real go, quick, go. once a motherfucker start dancing and doing routines off your shit, your song dead right there. Okay. It's over with. After that dance, after that routine, it's over. Oh, because the next dance coming right, right behind. Because, because the next dance coming. The next okay. dance right behind. The next record coming. Because, yeah. you know, we're in a microwave era, you know, but people's attention span ain't like that no more. We used to play albums for months, bro. Mm -hmm. We play a record like a day. Mm -hmm. We on to the next record. No, you know what I'm saying? I just so, want, but if you want short term, I cannot. Right, that's yeah. your I just, goal. I just, I just, I just, I just want to just yeah, you depends, know what, what you want. It depends on the art. what you yeah. did and what you're trying yeah. to do. Mm -hmm. you're, you're passionate though. about it. You're passionate about the music. You're passionate about the crowd. Yeah. Yeah. And you got to think you got a bunch of people just that do that shit that don't even care about none of the shit that we care about. You know what I'm saying? It's like you're not going to put nothing out a certain way because you want it to look right and come out right. And you know what I'm saying? You got that. Uh, that yeah. feeling about yeah. like, like, like a sport, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Exactly. But then you got, I would probably say 70% of these people, and then maybe more that don't really care. They okay. just doing just it to clout yeah. yeah. or to make a few dollars. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. Can I say one more thing? Yeah, yeah. Of course. Um, me and SB was speaking earlier about, you know, Mo, and um, just to let you know that how much of a good record that song is, we, we heard that record in November, bro. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We in March. Mm -hmm. And we in the era where the songs be over with in a day. Mm -hmm. We in March. We yeah. still talking about Mo since November. Yeah, that's a record, bro. That's a hit. Absolutely. But I, and, and when, when I say I don't be in breaking fold, everybody caught me with that quick scenario. I turned it down. I don't want that. That's mm -hmm. right. I want to work. That's you see right. what I'm saying? I yeah. want longevity. Like I said, if if anybody else, like I said, you want to play around with it, that's cool. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But if you really want longevity, you got to put the work in. Yeah, I don't know right. sus, no successful people that just mm -hmm. did a short term and became something. You know what I'm saying? Them folks really put a lot of time into it. And my thing is, as an artist that love this, I don't like people to play with it. Yeah. So I'm sorry. Yeah. I, I, it make me a little upset. You mm -hmm. crowding the lane, but then you playing. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Then you wasting money. So now there's so many, there's so many budgeting dollars dropping. They can't offer everybody the correct amount of money. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know. It, to me, it'd be kind of like, if you're going to play, man, I don't know, dog. I don't know. Don't go kite, so just say you're an influencer. Don't be an artist. Right, right, yeah. right. Take the influencer tag right. and come right. over and catch your stuff, dances, yeah. and then that's cool. I don't and know that, say artists. And, that, and, that, and that's, that's exactly where it's at, because I know some influencers that, you know, they they in a whole different genre, but yeah. that done... I don't give a fuck about music, but I done made some catchy shit on TikTok. Mm -hmm. Now, Atlantic Records want to give me a million dollars. I'm taking it. I'm happy. Fuck yeah. it. I don't, I don't give a fuck if I never pay them back. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and then there's some there's some but artists that, that, you know, speak on how y'all speak, and it's a whole different bargain because it's like, I want this. I want that longevity. I want to be remembered and all that. So, it, you know, it, it's two different games. So, yeah, for sure. I and, definitely and, understand. Yeah, none, and I know none, none of y'all artists really just started doing it and, and, and came over at night, man. How, how have y'all sustained, you know, um, throughout your career and, and, and growing without falling to that TikTok wayside or internet sensation overnight, here and, here and gone? How, how have y'all sustained this far? This I mean, for me, I'm going to say I've always just been able to stay relevant and sustained just by being myself. Like, I just ain't never... I probably was a follower in middle school, but with the exception of middle school, since high school, bro, like, I just ain't never wanted to really be nobody else. If everybody else liked Jordan, I was like, nigga, I like Barkley. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? I just got, you know what I'm saying, once I, you know, start to build on my confidence, you know, as a kid, you know what I mean? And after I got out of the follower stage, I was so removed from being a follower. I was like, anything anybody else do, nigga, I'm on the opposite. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So, like, St. Louis, um, being there, you know, well, you know how our city work. I mean, you know what I'm saying? It's like we had like new artists come out like every whatever, six months, and then it'll be the microwave situation. It'll change the next six months. 
Mm-hmm. And but nigga, that nigga Rugger Puff still be right there. Mm-hmm. And then mm-hmm. it go another five years and it's mm-hmm. some three new niggas, but that nigga Zeus right there. And right. you know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? And now, you know, it's to the point where it's like just learning this independent game and, and merging it with the game that we've been doing, like SB say, going to all these markets around the country and kissing babies, and you can go to Nebraska, yeah, and, and some of these white girls got our Rebel logo on their arm. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? But it's because of that that grassroots marketing, going to them cities, and now they look on TikTok or look on Snapchat and be like, oh, you cooked your daughter's chicken or something like that, and now they can watch you. So for me, now I'm just understanding how to use the internet per se, you know what I mean? Really just get my campaign up, bro. Mm-hmm. And I, I I meant to say that when y'all got done. It's half and half, okay? And don't, don't, I know everything everybody said was absolutely true, but just because TikTok ain't the way, you still got to use that shit. Yeah. Don't, don't yeah. get it fucked up for one second. <laughs> Meet your DJs and travel to your cities, but the internet's right there. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And if you talk to any OG and older people, they be like, boy, I wish we had the internet back then. Yeah, right. We used to have to actually go to these places. You could touch millions of people without leaving with just this. You feel what I'm saying? So not, you got to remember, like, don't, it, it takes all of it. Everything goes Everything together. Go together. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? So, yeah, you know, as you DJs, you're like, man, fuck that TikTok. But yeah. no, it takes both. It takes yeah. both. You need yeah. the relationships, like K-Tone always says, relationships is worth more than money. Yeah, right. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. But at the same time, money going, if you put some money on the goddamn internet, you could be seen by thousands of people without yeah. leaving your house. Yeah. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? So it takes it takes both. You feel yeah, what I'm saying? So, but don't, uh, that's why I'm saying you just mix it together. Yeah, don't just rely on it. Because mm-hmm. I do sponsor ads and ads all the time. Absolutely. But I, can't, I ain't going to just sit at the house and let my ads run, and I, I'm not running with it. Right. Yeah, I put the ads on and run. I did ads for this place. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? I yeah. did two ads for this birthday flyer and my flyer. Then mm-hmm. I came here. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? So you mix it together. It's not everything. And that's why I'm still here just based off relationships and uh, sure. uh, not being so prideful. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, if I went up at a time and I met somebody like these two and they was running, I said, man, can I go on the road trying to hype man for you? Well, I, I do the flyers for you. I, I always kept myself yeah. moving around till it's my time. Mm-hmm. I think it's a lot of pride and stuff for no reason. Right. You know what I'm saying? Um, but the biggest thing is just building relationships because it's people that uh, I knew a few years ago that's playing mode based off when they knew me a few years ago. Not based off because it's a hot record. They didn't know it was hot when they first played it. Right. They just seen me in the clubs. Oh, man, what you got for me? Right. Yeah. Come on, you know I ain't nobody saying what you got for me. Right. Right. They told me you with your money. Right. They was saying, now give me the record. Right. Yeah. And then, bang, I decided to get you So, yeah. uh, be your relationship. And that's that's my only thing against the that's internet right. when you just use it by itself. You can't gain relationships with Spotify, Pandora, or TikTok because you're not talking to the CEO or the program manager. You don't know them. Yeah. They just about analytic. So you have no relationship there. You have no leverage. You have more leverage with a person. So if you mix it together, you know what I'm saying, it just makes for a better situation. As a as a DJ, I tell y'all right now. I would uh, way rather play a nigga record that I really like or I uh, fuck uh, with. Mm-hmm. Whether if his music ain't as good or not, mm-hmm. nigga, this nigga cool, bro. I got mm-hmm. I got him. He ain't help. Right. Fuck it. Let me let me turn him up real quick. Mm-hmm. Cause that nigga cool as hell. Right. Then this weirdo nigga, I don't care if his record is <laughs> hard or not, but he a weirdo. <laughs> or I don't know him or nothing. It's it's a it's a different it's, it just it feels different when you play it. You feel what I'm saying? And this is outside of the of course records you gotta play. I'm just saying if you're gonna squeeze the record in if he cool and he got that relationship, it feel better. It feel better to us. Right. To like, okay, I take this risk on that. I don't give a fuck what they think. That nigga cool as hell. I fuck with him. Mm-hmm. I'm doing this for me. Mm-hmm. You feel what I'm saying? I gave y'all all these records, but this record for me. Fuck it. Because he cool in the bitch. Not the weirdo nigga over there. <laughs> but you know what I'm saying? But nah, I feel you. But I want to give some love to So Candy, who um, couldn't be here with us this evening. Yeah. But she's a very dope record. Also part of the 14th annual. Yeah. DJ K Tone birthday bash, yeah, sure. the biggest one, the sure. best one, yeah. and we here. You know what I'm saying? So shout out So Candy. Yeah. yeah. Want to go to a video? Yeah. Let's go to a video. <laughs> Let's go to a video. She can't be here. She was here Thursday. Shut it down. We're gonna go to her video. It's called Whoa. Whoa. Right here on the R Network There's an Online Showcase. Yeah, it is. Right now. Club all eyes on me. Show me the VIP. Section full of bottles and it's all on me. No, this shit ain't cheap. Broke assholes, love ain't on me. 
got the loaves on my feet You got them all set cause they don't want me I'm his fantasy Oh, I get the bag right Oh, don't you get passed by Oh, living a fast life Oh, I got my cash right Drop top, right in the bands with a top off Roll up the blunt full of doja Light it up, now I flow up yeah. Switching lanes, slow motion Hit the cruise, now I ain't coasting Getting money is motive When they pass by, they gon' notice Talking that talk and it's all facts I mean that Bitch say they got it, but it's all cap Snake niggas owe me money, you can keep that We gon' show up to his crib in a ski mask Don't you get passed by Living good, it's a fast life I buy what you bitches came by And worry about it, got my change right Walking in the club, all eyes on me Show me the VIP Section full of bottles and it's all on me Know this shit ain't cheap Broke assholes, love ain't know me Got the loaves on my feet Got them upset cause they don't want me I'm his fantasy Oh, I get the bag right Oh, don't you get passed by Oh, living a fast life Oh, I got my cash right Spending 20 on a penny I done came up, now I look a little different for a minute, if it ain't about the money, I ain't really that friendly. Nah, I hate no name, niggas, y'all talk too much. Nah. Old middle ass man, where the boss is at? Drop the location where the floss is at. I need Gotti on the team with Snapchat. Oh. Break it off, throw the ass back. Got a skinny waist, but the ass fat. Boss nigga, call him dad, dad. All the rich niggas want a bag, dad, yeah. Calling me to kick. All selling souls, a little way I'm living. A little hard fold on the money in my bridge. Got a pretty white bitch, she gon' ride cause I'm winning. Yeah, walking in the club, all eyes on me. Show me the VIP Section full of bottles and it's all on me Know this shit ain't cheap Broke assholes, love ain't know me Got the loaves on my feet Got them upset cause they don't want me I'm his fantasy Oh, I get the bag right Oh, don't you get passed by Oh, living a fast life Right. Oh, Candy, so yeah. Candy looking good as ever. Yeah. We see you, baby. Yeah. DJ K Tone, 14th annual birthday she, band. So, she Candy. Saw, she showed that when she came she through. She did. Too. She, she definitely on. did. Yeah, she definitely showed Back that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure. Appreciate that. She about to turn up. Yeah, Shout out to so Candy. For sure. That's lit. So, all y'all from different cities, mm-hmm. and every time I get the chance to talk to people from different markets, my first question that 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 comes to my mind is the the local scene. And y'all from y'all from all y'all from bigger markets than I, I don't want to knock this, but from bigger markets that I had people that you know what I'm saying yeah. I hit them plateaus bigger than what we've had. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But I like to dig into y'all's local scene and. I'm just curious, do y'all go through the same issues that we go through, but I don't have the right question, but so what is the local scene like in St. Louis right now? The or I'm not, I, we hate to say local. K Tone always tell me we're not local. The independent scene in uh, St. Louis, how is it right now? I'm what are the what are growing. politics like? What's I'm, the radio I'm gonna say, like? I'm gonna like say it's what's growing. your problem? I'ma say it's growing. I'ma say it's uh I'ma say the young niggas doing their thing, you know what I'm saying? Jiggle jizzle buzz little half. A lot of the young cats is really, really getting it in. Um, yeah. And St. Louis is still really closed minded though, you know what I'm saying? And from my perspective, I, and I only can speak on on my experience, I feel like I was in a position where, you know, motherfuckers didn't really support, but they was just like Everywhere I go, somebody know this nigga. So it's like I, I felt like they just kind of ended up supporting because they they just didn't have no choice. Okay, you know what I'm saying. So I no. feel like it's it's a lot of uh, and this just might be everywhere, man. So it's just a lot of um, what you what's what's the word I'm looking for? A lot of favoritism, a lot of uh, ah, this 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 uh, my my nephew type shit. You know uh, what I'm saying? Uh, 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 what they call that word? It's like it's just like a lot of that nepotism shit. Nepotism type. Of yeah, stuff. yeah, yeah. And like I said, for me. <laughs> I, I feel bad for other artists because I just got like a a, a, a mind state that's like, you ain't going to stop shit I'm doing. Like, I'm on mm-hmm. 
you know, on some so, that type shit. So, so I don't, you know, whatever. For it. So when it comes to St. Louis, because it's weird that I always use St. Louis as an example with yeah. Denver, and I'm like, yo, we about to have a, we about to have a Nelly, mm-hmm. we about to have a Nelly that could that kick that motherfucking dough down. Yeah. And he yelling St. Louis, you know what I'm saying? And that's gonna kick that door down, and nigga. Everybody just gotta follow that motherfucker. Right. Come through that door when we kick it down. You feel what I'm saying? But the fact that you're saying the support isn't isn't still there. It's, it's just it's just weird to me. And I go to um, Q Ball, coming from Chicago. What what do you what do you say about the independent <clears throat> scene in Chicago right now? Cause y'all y'all going crazy. Yeah, I was about to say the independent scene going a little crazy right now in the city. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But you still have you know gatekeepers and people that try to block stuff. You know what I mean? So it's mm-hmm. kind of hard for the independent artists to thrive. Mm-hmm. But they doing it, you know. Yeah. But you know, Chicago is what it is, man. You know what I mean? It's hate the city, and um. I would just like for it to be a lot more love shown, mm-hmm. you know, because it's like, like you say, that's that's my people, right? That's my people, you know. So like, give these new people a chance, you know. What I mean? Absolutely, no doubt, no yeah. doubt. SB Memphis, mm-hmm. Memphis got some of the hottest artists in the world. When you ask me, yeah. right now, you know what I'm saying? Y'all really, and from the outside looking in, y'all do show love. I mean, that's two. Yeah, I don't want to go into that because I don't know all the backgrounds, <laughs> but. I feel like y'all do show love to other Memphis artists, but what would you say about the independent scene in Memphis right now? Um, like I said, I'm, it's, it's a lot better than it's probably ever been, mm-hmm. uh, but kind of like what he just said is pretty much the same. When you, uh, like I said, I'm the flag kicker. You know, I'm from the streets, like, I'm the flag kicker, so I'm not to shoot them up, rob them. Mm-hmm. So my city is more so, you know, pertaining around by that type of stuff. Okay. So you either gonna sign a guy or you're gonna sign a dog. Yeah. And that's the route that you run. And I'm close with both of those guys. But both of those guys told me, we want you to stay independent because you're gonna be one of us on your type of level. Absolutely. You're gonna bring out the artists just like you, the pop star, the flag kids, mm-hmm. the army people. We we really know this. Yeah. So we don't wanna put you on this plate and hold you. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Because they can put all them in one pot together. Then you throw me it's kind of mm-hmm. it knows it all. Uh, the only thing with my city I just want to change is uh, we we kind of letting the, the squads and mobs uh, dictate a lot of stuff and cause more confusion. Like we like right there to be so big, but we we gotta get somebody to sit us down, with to sit the young ones down and say for the state of the city, mm-hmm. let's try to put that to the side because we right there, y'all. Like you know what I'm saying? Even if you don't like each other, it's still away or whatever, but don't cause hell on what we build. Because right now, this is a great rebuild coming from where we came from. I, we have never had this many Memphis artists running at one time. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I'm so proud of what I'm doing. I can't wait to be in that position because I'm ready. Because there's some artists like me mm-hmm. that's, that need to shine. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And they really, they waiting on me. Like, we yeah. have these conversations. Yeah. They know for a fact I'm finna pull us up out of that. You saw so y'all gonna see another side of the city that, and I was come from the hood. That's crazy thing. Yeah. We just kind of like, well, we don't want to do uh, gang bang stuff. Yeah, yeah, we yeah. flaky. Yeah. We getting the money, yeah. so I'm gonna introduce a lot of people to that side, and y'all yeah. gonna be like, whoa, like Prince DJ, Ashley Avenue, or uh, Joe Harris. Uh, each one is, man, I mean, it's a lot of us. I mean, you, they keep the flag like I'm kidding it. Yeah. So uh, I'm, I'm proud of us right now because we do got the light. Yeah. And right now we ain't messed it up, so I'm just praying they can keep keep it going, keep going where they're going, and yeah. stay away from each other, so the light can keep shining on nah, us. Yep. I was I just came back from Atlanta, and I was talking to Atlanta artists, and he was saying the key to Atlanta is they got they they got their gangs and they got their they shit, mm-hmm. but there's a whole nother mm-hmm. tier above that, yep. and I don't want to go into you know all that, but there's a tier above the gang. Yeah. That keeps shit in order. Yep. You feel what I'm saying? Y'all gonna do y'all little dumb, you know, not ain't gonna say dumb, but you're gonna do your street shit. But there's a whole nother tier of shit that keeps Atlanta rep Atlanta. You know what I'm saying? When it comes to this, nigga, leave that shit over there. You wanna know It's Atlanta. You, you know, know what I'm saying? We gotta boost this up. We gotta you make know this some of the ones that run it? Mm-hmm. DJs yep. and the CEOs. 
Don't they have it. real industry politics. Mm -hmm. So it's stuff that go on in Atlanta because I live there. Yeah. But you ain't going to hear about that. They ain't going to hear about they, it. It's on they, another they level. They don't want to mess they up. Right. You yeah. see what I'm saying? They don't want that out there. Like, yeah. they have issues just like any other city. He was saying, they just got the right gatekeepers. Exactly. And you were saying there's a level of politics you know above that. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? There's a level of shot callers above that. That Okay, that's going to happen. It's going to happen regardless. Happen. Exactly. Regardless, but there's a whole other level. Yeah, y'all do that, but okay. We gonna control this. Yeah, y'all doing that, but that don't get out, nigga. That's still Atlanta. You know what I'm saying? That shit together, and that, that and that strong. keeps them them keeps them strong and and yeah. and going and empowered. That's yeah. dope. Cause I'm you telling you, I remember Rich on the corner, John Cinco was beefing hard, but both of their CEOs was like this. Mm -hmm. So you see what I'm saying? It was a lot going on that you just didn't hear about. Cause they, I mean, both of them got CEOs like this, but they was beefing hard. Yeah. But the CEOs kept there from just going too going far to where it missed stuff up. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And, and I, and uh, that's why I said about my city. I, I pray mm -hmm. God for God it can just keep they guys mm -hmm. just, just hey, listen, don't worry about that, y'all. Listen. Yeah. We get money now. They over there. We over here. Let's just keep rolling how we roll. And that's the only thing I can pray with this tank. We don't have. Or oh, Atlanta politics. Atlanta yeah, got the absolutely. best music politics around. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it's I dope. pray we can get their way too. I want to ask Shannon about the politics of, uh, of being a woman in, in this type of industry because you know mm -hmm. you guys get a lot of, um, what, what, what's, what's the word? Um, it's, it's, it's double standard sometimes when it comes to women. So how do you, um, how, how do you handle that or do you feel like you do uh, get hated on, I should say. Um, word. And not, not for me, it's, it's a little different because my manager is my mouthpiece. Right. Like when it comes to taking care of a certain kind of business or whatever. But but honestly, like the city of Chicago, once I dropped my first single, I don't know what kind of door opened up, and the city, like people in the city started reaching out to him right. to get me on shows. Right. I mean, you know, um, so I'm. I don't know if I really had to go through. It's just like a blessing when it's your time to do something. Like God to pay waves for you to be able to get around certain things. So you know, besides people trying to holler, you know, you you fresh meat to them. Even though I've been in the city all my freaking life, but now it's like, oh, Shannon, nobody's touched her. Let's see what we can, you know. But I've always been about business. I, I'm make sure I specify. Like I don't got time for what y'all doing. I'm trying to get to this money and do what I got to do. So I'm. You know, it's going to be games, because like he right. said, people people got their favorites. You know what I mean? Like the city of Chicago throw shows, but a lot of times it's the same people. Right. They're not really reaching out to a whole lot of individuals, even though I've been on several. But like when it comes to bigger shows, are they really re looking for up-and-coming independent artists? So it's like the only person in Chicago that I really know that goes search out independent artists is Cuba, because I watch him do this. A lot of people in Chicago ain't... You know, you come. You got to go to them and say, "Hey, can you play my music?" Instead of you hearing about this person, but instead of saying, "You you doing your thing," let me play your music. Yeah. You get you get a little bit of that, but it's only a little bit of that you gonna get. Right. That's why I travel. How, how, how should it be though? I don't know. I, I kind of feel on the other side know. of that. I, I kind of feel. Let me let me play devil's advocate. Fuck fuck my opinion. But how should it be if if I'm the DJ and I'm in the and I'm in the position to play the music? Is it is it is it my job? And I want y'all's honest opinion. Is it my job, or is it the artist's job to get to me, or is it my job as a DJ to get to the artist? Good music. If you want ways. good music, yeah. you will get to it. Yeah. But if you haven't had a chance to meet that artist, then that's a different story. But then that's when relationships come in. I'm not the artist that's going to come in and be like, hey, nice to meet you. My name is Shannon. Here, my music play. No, I'm going to get to know you. Mm -hmm. I'm going to kick it with you. I'm going to talk crazy. you know. And then you're going to be interested in what I'm doing. So, like, I'd rather be invited in and mm -hmm. just, you know, instead of just so, throwing myself so, in somebody's face. So as a DJ, and I could be 100% wrong. I'm okay with that. As a DJ, I thought that we 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 are the voice and the the sound of the people. So if if... Okay, if you blowing up and you cracking wherever you from in your hood, whatever, 
the fans and the people that are fucking with your music are gonna come let me know we want to hear this record. But how many of y'all DJs really talking record. to the people but, outside? You know what yeah. I mean? Like some of y'all DJs don't mm -hmm. fuck with people. Y'all get away from me. I'm in my set. Mm -hmm. Some of y'all stinky mm -hmm. attitude, so people yeah, okay. don't want to approach y'all. You know what I mean? But okay. some of y'all real good. Go ahead. And if you mm -hmm. want, uh, if you just a DJ to get paid to DJ in the club, or are you the DJ that want to be the A and R? to be the, yeah, okay. the godfather of the city type thing. So you okay. got to know which one. Mm -hmm. Because sometimes, like even my situation, I had to put a lot of work in because it wasn't just coming like that. You know yeah. what I'm saying? But as they started to get to know me, they started building that right. situation with me. Yeah. Because if I had to just wait for the streets to say it, the streets weren't going to say it, the streets they not hate listening us. to it. They hate they, us too. We pushed it on the city, and I broke a barrier in my city yeah. in 2007. We were the first uh, rap group to ever be commercialized. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Against all gangster music. Yeah. So we broke that barrier though, but it took a few people to say, you know what, we finna change this. Mm -hmm. You see know what I'm saying? So sometimes you you might don't know that these two dope as ever because ain't nobody said nothing right. yet. Well, if you go in that studio session because you call a whip phone or something, you don't know what kind of relationship finna be built and based off. Because think about it, so, people didn't want to sign Drake at one point mm -hmm. and look at him. Some yeah. people thought Soulja Boy was crazy. Look at him. They looked at, look at a lot of the greats. They didn't just walk in the building. Somebody had to find them and shop them around. Mm -hmm. Them would take people to houses. You want them. You want them. Who want them? So, so you just so never know who's who. Yeah. As a DJ, from the DJ perspective, do you think that it's our job to go search and go, go you know, through these, through these streets and go find these artists? Or do the artists got to put in that work to get to you? Well, it's... Um, well, the artists definitely need to put in the work. You know, it's about the relationship. But on the on the back end of that, like I'm gonna speak for me, mm -hmm. if a record is that hot, it's gonna come across my desk regardless. Mm -hmm. If a record is that hot, it's gonna come across my desk. But I'm, that's the point I'm making. You know what I mean? What he was saying is, like, I know my shit was hot, but the streets wasn't about to tell it from. So how's it gonna come across your desk? That's what I'm saying. There's a point now, where when they come across my desk, it ain't from the people though. Okay, okay, okay. You know okay. what I'm saying? It ain't yeah. from the people. It's just if the record that hot, I'm my ears gonna catch it. Okay. And not necessarily like somebody coming to me like, hey, you heard this or yeah. check this out. Yeah. No, that ain't what I mean. I mean like like with Mo. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. I have that ear. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So if I hear something and I know it's a if it, if it's a smash or a hit. I'm running. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I, I probably ain't even gonna talk to the artist, but I'm gonna run that record. Yeah. No, That's for what sure. I'm talking about. See, a lot, a lot of times, like, if people don't know who you are, what if they can hit us up like, damn, this shit hot, but are you really gonna go in and say, oh, let me Shazam this, let me go on YouTube and download this, let me put this in my shit, and then one day that artist come back and you help blow that artist up but didn't know. Like, now I'm getting plaques. A lot of people wasn't playing my song. Like, this man ran my song for weeks. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So, like, I can't give people a plaque if you ain't playing my shit or yeah. you just played it once. Like, mm -hmm. like how how I'm willing to give you the shit if you help them, but like a lot of people not yeah. on that. And I went I went through people like to sit down. Now you gotta give me something like this. I ain't gonna like that. You got yeah. and then I say, then the person that took the chance, I say, bro, I'm telling you, just do a front, just just run it. Just try. run it. Just try it. And resist it. Mm -hmm. So that's what I'm saying. Like sometimes I don't think DJs that's not to understand the industry, I don't think they able to even be in a position to pick and choose because they kind of just play the rest Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So I said some, some people, some people are just DJ. That hey, you got your, your list. It's my list. You, you're not. You're afraid to break the record because to break the record, you gotta believe in it first. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. You gotta. You know what I'm saying. You have like I know it's hot. Yeah. Then you you run it. And so I just it's, it's, the it's, same it's, issue. It's, that's it's, artists too, man. That's artists no. and DJs. You know what I'm saying. Like even artists is like shit. We can't just stay. Doing, you know what I'm saying? Doing you know. what everybody else doing. Mm -hmm. It's like we got to be risk takers too. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? The DJs got to be risk takers. And it's just like you just got to already know you got some people that's going to just play the record they want to play. Get paid. You got some artists that's just going to do the shit that they see everybody else doing. And then you got other people that's like really wholeheartedly like, nigga, I want to be the greatest or I want to just do something to mm -hmm. make sure they know my name. Right. Whether you DJ or artist. Right. And those people are going to be the ones that, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying, take that risk on somebody new or be so, out there looking for talent and hard body a and R like a and R don't do no more. You know what I'm saying? I got a quick question for y'all and then we're going to go into this video. So somebody came up to me yesterday and it's a hard song that's floating around the city, right? He's never sent it to me. 
Never seen I've seen it. I've seen the video plenty of times. You know what I'm saying? I see what it's doing. Never sent me the record. Came to me last night in the club. You ain't got this? You ain't gonna play my shit? You ain't got it? So nigga ain't never sent it to me. As artists, who's wrong? Am I on am I wrong for seeing this shit and and am I supposed to put that work in or is he wrong for not sending it to me? And, and, then, and then what I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say he wrong. Thing. Yeah, because yeah. the only reason yeah. I'm gonna say he wrong. Is because and you don't gotta say that because we're right here. No, no, no. no, no. I'm, be I'm asking from an artist's point of view. From my perspective, I'm gonna say the only reason he wrong because he already know that you one of them niggas in the town. He know yeah, Tone yeah. one of the niggas in the town. Yeah. So if I'm if I'm in St. Louis and I got a record and I'm a, a upcoming nigga and the record bubbling, yeah. Why I'm finna already then yeah, gave it to the top niggas yeah. in my city to run. Well, I'm gonna give it to everybody, even the niggas that ain't hopping. But yeah. definitely, I'm giving it to the niggas that's cracking. Like, no no record cracking. No I ain't giving it to y'all yet. That don't make yeah. sense. I, think, I just felt, think the approach be bogus. You know what I mean? Like the way that people approach DJs, that's like that's fuck with me. Like who the fuck <laughs> is you? Because yeah, you know like it, it can in, it can instantly. <laughs> it's like the energy, energy that you give somebody, they gonna instantly respond. Like yeah. you talking about fuck with you? Like who the fuck is you? Know what I mean? That's what you put out. Hey, how you doing? My name is such such such. I know you busy right now. Um, if you can give me your Instagram, I'll get in touch with you. I got this song that I think you should hear. It's hot right now. Like it's a way to you get more you get more bees with honey than shit. And what and you know I what, what I advise artists, if you got a record bubbling or if you just believe in it, catch the DJ early. Mm-hmm. I'm I, I'm at your door, man, nine o'clock. I mean, listen, I used to meet DJs and help them take their stuff in the club. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I used to be right. waiting on them. I know you need help with this right quick. Yeah. When you want that quick drink, especially if you know you bubbling, that means for a change you already heard it. You just ever met me. Right. Yeah. So that's why I would say he wrong because you know y'all just opened back up right. the city. You hear about this, but I would have been already. Hey man, can I be on the right. job too? You know, so I think he should have had more approach with yeah, that early on. No, that's what you yeah, said. Play, yeah, because I me, thought I thought a whole different way about yeah, it. Yeah, now me. I go look for records. Like when I hear a hot ass record, like I say, I probably haven't even spoke with the artist. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna you know go and get that I, motherfucker, yeah. and I'm gonna play it because I want to be the one to play that shit. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And that's just me. Yeah. So I don't really know if it's necessarily a right or a wrong as far as that interaction, mm-hmm. but that's just me. You yeah. know what I mean? Like no, because that's what I thought, and that's why I asked y'all. Yeah, I'm like, I do know this record. And I do know all about this, and I've watched this video multiple times. But did I go download this bitch? No. But see, that's your personal thing. I'm not playing it. It is what it is. But then I felt when I seen the nigga, like, nigga, this is one of the hottest songs in the city. And I'm like, God is. But but you ain't, but my, in my nigga mode right there, I'm like, yeah, nigga, but you ain't sent it to me. Build a relationship. (laughs) I think it would be good for you. Why no, you sure. bubbling? Because you don't want to create uh, no, friction. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? If you bubbling, you're doing for the city. I just want to introduce myself. I'm sorry, yeah. so I don't know if you mm-hmm. heard it. Well, if you have, you have. Because I meet DJs. I know I've been on conference calls with a day. I first I said, did you get it? Because I know that. Well, I'm going to resend it to you. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, even if when they find a record on me, I still just like finding a DJ myself. You know what I'm saying? Just build. Because once you build a relationship, it's, a, it's up from there. You, you go search, I'd have probably been in your DM. Oh God! And another yeah, reason why relationships are important. I got a lot of DJs that answer me back. Another reason that relationships are important, you know, is because you need to know what the what the DJ is playing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Don't just walk up to me thinking I play rap because I right. might not be that type of DJ. Right. I'm a DJ, right. but I may not be that, that type right. of DJ. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So that's where a lot yeah. of relationships come in. And, and, and that's the importance of the DJs, you know, not just using the TikTok and stuff because if I'm an R&B artist, every artist, I mean, every DJ ain't gonna play R&B in the club, you mm-hmm. know what I mean? But there are some clubs that play R&B. R&B. So you got to be able to know who your DJs are. That's why the calls that y'all do are important. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Because all the DJs get to introduce themselves in their markets and say, you know, this is the type of music I play or they get to hear the music and say, Okay, well that can go on my show. Well, that, and like what y'all been doing had made it so much more easier um, to transition into the next step for us as independent artists because it's like somebody bring the music to y'all and then y'all hear it and then y'all start passing it out to each mm-hmm. other and it start getting played and it makes it a little bit easier on us. That's why I have major respect for the DJs. You know what I mean? Regardless of uh, what everything works together, but there's some major respect for the DJs and the radio people because the radio plays is what's going to build you up. But if your business ain't taken care of, none of that even matters. Right. Shannon, 
everything you just said right now, you yeah. just stayed on the money. Yeah. And because you just showed love to the DJs, we want to show love to you. <laughs> <laughs> so check it out. So we got your new video, and I would like you to look dead in that motherfucking yes, camera and introduce it to the people, and we're going to play it right now live on the DOS. So go ahead. All right, once again, everybody, my name is Shannon Clay from Chicago. You're about to view my latest video, MMM. Sit back, relax, grab you a cocktail, smoke you a blunt, and get wet. Yeah. Get yeah, wet. Look yeah, at him. Yeah, 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 man. Yeah, and let's do it like that. That's available right yeah, now. Oh yeah. Oh, it's on. It's available on all streaming uh, streaming sites. Uh, the video is on YouTube yeah. right now, so they can go get it instantly. Go mm -hmm. stream it. They eating it up in Argentina because the sample is a uh, Argentina type sample. Oh, yeah, From, right. yeah. So they they been running it up out there. So maybe I need to go so, to another country. Hey, so yes. you're gonna go to Argentina. Yeah. Oh yeah. In yes. Mexico Ooh. and because yes. like it's like the other the other countries have been eating this song yes. up. So tell me this. Tell me this. What? You gonna go to Argentina or Mexico if you gotta get vaccinated? Nah, we are gonna have to wait a minute. Oh, okay. <laughs> wait I ain't gonna the chill. I ain't taking no vaccine. See, I'm not sick. Y'all ain't sticking nothing so, up. So let's talk, so let's Nobody's talk taking the okay. vaccine. Mm -hmm. Nobody. I'm not. So, uh, so if you if you gotta like, I'm going to Australia in April. Uh, but if they make it where you gotta take yeah. the vaccine in order to travel, uh, fuck it. Yeah, we got no choice. I mean, they, 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 it's, I know they got something travel. else. It's something else they got. Nobody but is listen, pushing healthcare. Now, I got a partner in D.C. He told me that, you know, he, he a doctor. Mm -hmm. He told me that the first run of the uh, vaccine, the one that was created by the, uh, the oh, African-American girl, yeah. you good. Oh, you okay. A1. The problem is, y'all got itch when you... Know. you 
No, nah, but she he said that one is 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 straight. You talking mm-hmm. about the other companies that kind the of problem is when the other companies start Johnson creating. and Johnson. Yeah, yeah and I, see, I don't know about that. Sure. When all yeah. these different people start creating them, and now you can go get it at Sam's or just some crazy shit. But see, here's that's the thing: it's, all it's like, like it's it right, that's cool. But like, how do you know when you go to the doctor's office, you getting that good one? Well, you know what I mean? That's that's, that's the tricky part anymore. because <laughs> the whole you know, catch twenty two is about, about this. For me, it's like I haven't been sick, I haven't had it. I'm not gonna put it in my mouth like a hypochondriac and I'm gonna catch it. So I live my life. I try to eat the best that I can. They not talking about exercise, drink water, yeah. and who they not talking about none of that on TV. They just go get the shot. Everybody in the world gotta go get the shot. Everybody, just, if this disease was so bad, a lot of us would have been dropped dead. Yeah, you know. So a lot I of us have dropped dead. I mean, a lot of that us did, but but die. how many people that you know personally? A few. I mean, yeah, okay. I mean that's a few, uh, but I'm talking was, about out no, of the. Was, I don't. I don't know. I don't know a lot of people few. personally that that didn't already have. Some kind Some of a health health. Health. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's not something that else was a part of. I mean, exactly. I'm sure it's probably some exactly. people that died. And it's, like it's out there. It's out there. It was manipulated oh, numbers. Because they start, you know, you know, the hospital get money if they Every say it was COVID related. COVID. That's why they died. They have a heart so attack. So a lot of them was manipulated for money, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because I had, I had somebody pass away from it, but they had heart problems for years, and then once they got sick. Oh, it's that COVID. was just it. But you know that's still saying? COVID, nigga. Okay. But everybody about? not going to die but, from the same stuff, so why should nigga, you if you got heart problems and something comes fix along your life. and fuck your heart up, but no, nigga, you died but, from but what you just know, came in. Fuck your heart up, nigga. COVID still fucked you up. They said they would have died from pneumonia or the flu. Okay, nigga. But that one, nigga, was COVID. And what happened to the flu? What happened to the flu? Listen, once everybody, COVID one is 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 what they it was manipulation and y'all know yeah, that. They know it. This, like, this is the thing: the government had already said they wanted yeah, to depopulize the world. Too many people. Mm-hmm. They wanted the fresh earth, go green. They They've been hitting at us that hey, we can kill off some of y'all, and the way we're gonna do it is we're gonna do the way agree. you can't blame nobody. Mm-hmm. It's just gonna be speculation. Yep. And what do you do? You put a disease out there. Mm-hmm. Then they said some of the vaccine that it'll open up your emergency to catch HIV faster. Yeah, what? they have caught. They, it's That's like part of it. You yeah. offering yourself for something Not that you didn't crazy. have at first. Now, if somebody yeah. gets, if you get COVID, if you're sick with COVID, go do what you got to do. But why should everybody have to be forced for something to be entered into them? What if my body don't act right with that? You know what I mean? So I ain't against it, but I ain't doing it. I never took a flu shot. Yeah, you know. Okay. I have okay. never no, taken a flu shot. Like, like. Uh, I'm, I'm good on the COVID shot, you know, and it's like, I don't, like, as far as COVID, I don't know any homeless people who's had it, and they don't mask up, they be in groups, and, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, like, <laughs> and it's like, it's crazy, yep. you know, like, like last night, I'm gonna give you a perfect example, we in, we in the club, you know what I'm saying, and... Uh, the safety rules is okay, you know, mask up, but if you got a drink in your hand, you don't yeah, have to have your hand. mask up. What the so drink so, do with COVID don't get so that. I'm trying to get the logic of of putting all, all this shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm like it's it's weird. Even on the airplane, Cuba. Right. right. Even on you know, the they gotta stand six feet and apart in line three people for security. In the, in the but down. I'm sitting next yeah. to you on the plane. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So it's kind of crazy, bro. Yes, like, y'all know. So come on, y'all know. Let's keep it real. It's, it's some manipulation somewhere. People want somewhere. a new way to run this world, and they get what they wanted. It's simple mm-hmm. as that. You either gonna roll with it, or you ain't roll with it. The at fear, all. the yeah. fear of it is the yeah. biggest. The fear controls. Okay, so let's say I put Turn this fear in you and tell everybody there's this disease out there that can take your parents out. We all gonna be afraid because we yeah. love our people. We don't want nothing to happen to you. But then, what if everybody gets scared and run and go get it, and the disease is actually in the Shot. Well, well, actually, but you already think you, really I know, you I know. So, so, so why do I want to get a shot with something that ain't in me if yeah. I ain't already yeah. got it? If I got to die, let me just go ahead yeah. and do what I got to do. And I know doctors that told the truth. The mask make you sicker because yeah. you keep breathing, breathing in your shit. Yeah. And, and even the fabrics off the material of it yeah. makes people sicker. Yeah. Look, so how safe a, was it? I worked yeah. in a hospital setting for 26 years, bro. A lot of people don't even know this. I had a job. I quit four years ago. Mm-hmm. I worked there 26 years, you know what I'm saying? And uh, I've seen a lot. And a lot of this shit seemed fake, bro. Mm-hmm. I'm not going to even front. Like, mm-hmm. it just seemed fake. Mm-hmm. You know, like you say, with the masks, you know, like the N- the N9s, you know what yeah. I'm saying? It's like, you can't wear it because you're breathing your own toxins back yep. in, back and forth all day. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, 
Yeah. Today because people, say the old people were sitting up in the house the with their mask on because my mama was doing it. Mm-hmm. They sit in the house with their mask on. So if you already got health in, because they're going to be stuck. Whatever you can tell them or whatever the TV say, they're going to be like, this is what the TV say, the science said. So now they're afraid. And then it's like they sitting in the house with masks on. Ain't nobody there but them breathing in their own shit. You got heart problems, diabetes. And where's the health? Where's just the health? And the health is wealth. Nobody's pushing. Get, so, get are, y'all, are y'all sitting there telling me that it's not real? No, I don't know. Where's everything else? Real. Oh, real. Where's everything? But, but it's been out. It's COVID, COVID has been out. It's we're not saying, a new yeah. disease. It's a Dang form listen. of flu and common they, they, they cold. They, they it's in it, the man. it's there for everybody to see. It's a common cold. Yeah. 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 It's there for everybody to see. It's a common cold, but everybody body reacts differently to stuff. So that's what's causing the death. Y'all know people be in their little laboratory. Yeah, it's something else. Whatever they told. The agenda is we need to be pushing health. Yeah, health is well. Nobody can exactly. Eat this hamburger. Eat this. And we eat it. It's moderation. You know what I'm saying? Everybody talking about health for real, they kill them. Right, right, because that, if that, you that, healthy, that, 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 you ain't creating no money. Ain't no money in this. So if you in the state of Colorado and <laughs> you worried about your health, what do you do, k Tom? Oh, just holla at Connect for Health, CEO. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You can holla at <laughs> Connect for Health, Colorado. Yeah. Get you some health insurance. Yeah, they, yeah. they got it for the low right See? now. Yeah. Holla at them, connectforhealthco.com. Big shout to Connect for Health. They, um... They they putting us on man they they they, they getting giving Seven us insurance so low yeah they did shout out here. connect for health so listen one thing that can make you healthy that I've heard over the years but I haven't experienced it is love yeah yeah, yeah. so That's good true. love will good make you will 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 get you through them bad times it gotta be L U V if you it gotta be L U V E L U V when you're down and out and and you might be sick. And does somebody take care? Bring you a little soup. Bring you a little something. Eat a little head. Eat a little bit of something. What you need? You don't need that. You don't need that. Eat a little head. Eat a little head. Take care of you. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
I be really loving the strippers. I be really loving the strippers. Bro, V though, do I love Yeah, I be doing You might fall in love with her. I mean, she might. I fall in love for that night, though. You know She might change. She could change. I asked Zeus. Is that is that true? Did you fall in love? He said, "No." Well, well, well yeah, I did. But, <laughs> but, 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 <laughs> hey, man, them still would be cold, man. Them folks be cold, man. Yeah. 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 And they yeah. got yeah. game. Yeah. That's, that's, yeah. I gotta give them a problem. They got yeah. game, boy. They gonna yeah. make you. They, they gonna make you feel like you're the one stripper, man. A stripper that like you will spend money on you instead of you spending money man, on you. Hey, <laughs> she like treat you like you a hoe. Like, <laughs> she, you want something to eat? Like, man, damn, you got some money with me. Yeah. Yeah. Let me I want you some shirts and stuff. You want some yeah. stuff? Like, damn. Right. Yeah. Like, ain't nothing wrong, no wrong with that. Ain't nothing wrong with it. Take but it. But some of them get some bread now. I'm some of them winning. Shit. And winning. Shit. Shout out to all the uh, sugar mom right. strippers. Yeah. 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 Yeah, sure. give me ten percent. Buy me some kicks, man. We can run, <laughs> we can, we can run your only fans together. Give me ten percent. Yeah, I need yeah, yeah, So, so real quick, all three of y'all independent artists. I want to know is is major is being on a major the ultimate goal or not? Uh, for me, yes. I want to be on the stage with Bruno with the weekend. I want to be one of the biggest artists in the world if it's in God's will. So. Um, I'm gonna do it myself until I can get it big enough where I have to, you know what I'm saying, I have the help. But I want to go into it not having to bend over and grab right. my ankles. I want to be right. able to go into it and do business and sit down with Mr. Lives or somebody like that and yeah. say, hey, this is what I did. I've made this much money this year. So I know with your help together, we can make quadruple it. So I want to do it that way. No, for sure. Yeah, man. Um, it because of some of the stories that I've heard, it's been kind of scary. I, it, my prayer is that you know, if that's the the path that that that's for me, that it's made right. That you know, artists are treated as fairly as the people who get paid off of what they do. That's all. Mm-hmm. And then I, I, me and my CEO, uh, Rich Y'all can we talk about this? And well, when you got your own independent funds, it's definitely cool. But we just we want to keep the leverage going into a building, and it's kind of like Zeus, like partnership. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because when you're an artist and you want to be on that big roll and loud stage, you want to be nominated for Grammys and stuff. You know you have to partner with somebody that's already got there. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. The independent grant is really dope, but some of them, when we go back to artists, just probably just want the money. That's cool. They 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 not cool. They don't care about the XSL freshman cover mm-hmm. or, or the plaques and all that. So when you really care about stuff like that, I think there's people in how to say, well, hey, if y'all already got funded and this and that, we just partner together and we give y'all mm-hmm. our database. Mm-hmm. Y'all do this. We we still throw bread that way. Okay. The cut is different, mm-hmm. you know. And I tell artists a lot of times, you gotta protect your CEO. I'm protected over, over my CEO. You spend all this money to me do this. I got. I want to make sure this money comes back time this, mm-hmm. and I want us to be comfortable even in the long run. Right. So where you can sit back, kick your feet up, and we know that machine's still running, mm-hmm. but it didn't cost us, like you said, to bend over, break and fall, do it the wrong way. Uh, I just think if you go in, understand that if you bring to the table, you will receive the right way. Mm-hmm. Not knocking no artists that have bad deals because it happened, mm-hmm. but I think sometimes it's like long when we learn about our credit. Mm-hmm. We get all that credit, then we're going to spend it, then we're looking crazy when it's time to pay it back. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So you got to think about it. They don't want the 50 they gave you. They want 100. Yeah, we yeah. gave you 50 double to get up. double. And I think artists sometimes kind of lose sight. Right. You made 21 million, but you left with 10. Don't get greedy and be upset because you could have been in the house making zero no. or 100,000. Right. So it, it's just where you want to go with. You know what I'm saying? I just say don't be greedy. Don't be too prideful about stuff. You know what I'm saying? Make it make sense for them, too. Because I know some artists have been around a long time because they made it make sense. And if you do your fire, your script with them, hey, you got your royalties, yeah. you buy your publishing back. If you lost some of it, then you run the way you want to and, and just keep redoing it. That's what I think. You just be as business man as possible and get a lawyer that ain't nowhere near tied to a debt label in no mm-hmm. shape, form, or fashion. Mm-hmm. Get you somebody all the way on this side so they can battle for you, not go in that room and talk against you. You know what I'm saying? That's all like, facts. Yep. Mm-hmm. That's all facts. That's all facts. That's all facts. I think, I think that people... I think signing to a label is not as bad as it came to mm-hmm. sound like in 2021 and 2020. Because if you don't have that backing, yeah. that's that backing. Yeah. Or if you have that music that <clears throat> mirrors it, 
<laughs> that's got them needs to be on the radio. Yep. You need that goddamn label. Yeah. Cause they got them relationships. They gon' they can get that shit played. Mm-hmm. Now if you got some street shit and you straight gonna go that route, okay, you might not need it. If you got drug money, you might not need a label. But if you on some different type of time and you need that backing and you don't have that that drug dealer or that nigga that got these bands that he ain't worried about that he can put into this, yeah, you don't need that. But get what? When you some girls you said that part. If you want to do it the right way, when the RS come knocking at your door and trying to figure out what this is and how that came, you are gonna need them folk. They going you see what I'm saying? Yeah. You still gotta think. There's a lot of money spent mm-hmm. that people calculate that you don't know calculate, and they wait to that three four years stint. Yeah. So having them them Jewish folks up there that's mm-hmm. crossing that money through something else will protect you in the long run. Absolutely. And that's why I think uh, even the street guys got the money. Eventually, people watching, you, gotta clean you it need up. to have yeah. it counted for something. You, gotta clean it you up. see what I'm saying? Yeah, because if the CEO go down for it, then the artist is through. Mm-hmm. So you got to protect. That my thing. Artists, protect your CEO. <laughs> Let me say it to so, the camera, man. Please, <laughs> listen to me. Protect them. So at the same Seriously. time as you protect the CEOs, I'm sorry, Tom, but I... I think that a conversation I had the other day, protect your manager as well. And the fact that, okay, if Zeus has a manager he's been with for 10 years, he's been rocking. Yes, ride with your nigga. Don't just, bro, I ain't fuck with you no more. I'm lit now. But at the same time, put him in a position where, okay, my manager I've been rocking with 10 years. Let me pair you with somebody. And Steve mm-hmm. Lobel told me this. I'm going to put you, I'm not going to, because you my dog, I'm going to put you with somebody who's been in the game and know it. So I got to partner up yep, and make this shit go. Yeah, yeah. So don't forget about your dog that been riding with you for 10 years. But at the same time, don't be fucking stupid and try to ride with your dog that, that you just been riding with when there's a nigga that actually know this business. You got to pair your nigga with the man and, okay, nigga, go learn this game, my nigga. Yeah. Okay, you gonna be my role manager now, but this is gonna be my manager manager. Cause it's your dog. Make sure your dog keep getting money, but know somebody that know the game. You feel what I'm saying? So that's you know, the right that's, way to do it. That's, that's the right that's, way to do the, it. That's that's the, the, and, the and that's for the DJs too. Like that's that's a, when I, I, I made sure K Tone them got the first show. Whoever birthday was first, mm-hmm. we're gonna get it. You see what I'm saying? And yeah. the card you gave me said you kept the word. Mm-hmm. That's what we got. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? And I be telling her, we had a conversation. Once I hear the whole thing, I say, well, you know you were kind of wrong. Because as I'm looking at the contract, you say this and that, right. you didn't you, you didn't hold your hand in the bargain on this part. Mm-hmm. Then you can't look at somebody that spent 50 or 100 and blame them mm-hmm. if it didn't go the way planned. Yeah, so you see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So that's what I'm saying. I'm glad they said protect the team. Protect the team that you have around yeah. from the cameraman, yeah. the yeah. DJ, the It's not even just protect, protect them, but you... Know you as the artist, these opportunities are going to come where they, they present it to you as, okay, I know you got your people, but fuck them. I can yeah. take you here. Yeah. You know what yeah. I'm saying? But it's not, for sure, protect your team, but put your team on to the knowledge. Yeah. Because, yeah, you about to blow, but now your team, okay, let's use, I, there's plenty of examples. I want to use my order because it's my boy's birthday, but there's plenty of examples <laughs> where, okay, you get your first artist to blow, but now your team knows the business. Now they can go back to your hood and grab the young niggas because now they know the game. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. Instead of your manager just gets you to this point and then you and take you just off leave. and just, yeah. I'm gone. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Make make that a joint venture so your manager's learning the same game as the nigga that been know it. He can bring it back to the hood. You feel what I'm saying? Like a, what you want to use? Run DMC. K R S one. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I think some of the some of the artists that's that still here that's been running for a few years. I ain't got I think nothing all day. For for you to keep that that run and that stint that's keeping folks in house. Because you know when you go to them label court, they they first they want to do is push folks out. Yeah. But that's when I say don't be and break a fall. That's what I mean. You gotta tell them, listen, if you want me. This who come with it. Yeah. Now, I know we might have shortened the but percentages and stuff like that, but hey, that's a I good ain't conversation to have. That that's a good right, conversation right. to have with your manager, like, bro, okay, right. nigga, I break you off on the back or however we gotta yeah, play yeah. it. But go learn this game, yeah, nigga. Yeah. But in, in, in three years, once I get out my deal mm-hmm. and we can buy our publishing back, we can buy our masters back, nigga, we got the game. Yep. Go soak up all this shit. Just stay with me. Go soak this up. I'm going to go fuck with this man, but go soak this up. And then in three years, we're going to buy all this bitch back and bring it back to us. And now we're going to run it. And you I know think YG just said this. YG said he's been in a bad contract for like 10, 10 years. years. But he stuck with it because he was like, what I'm going to battle them for and be at the crib looking crazy. Mm-hmm. He's like, I got to ride this out. Then when it's over, 
Mm-hmm. Give myself a battle. Now I'm about to work. You know what I'm saying? And I respect the dude for that because you got to rap. That once you sign, you know, it's Stop. still being a man your word. That, I think it just comes to this. You know what I'm saying? And that, and that comes to the artists as well as, nigga, all these bad contracts that we complain about, niggas have signed these motherfuckers. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Right. As, as artists knowing, yeah. artists put the, everything yeah. knowing what? Read it. Yeah. Read it. I have told artists before the concert, I said, bro, I don't think this is it. They and still if, done it. I'm like, yeah. I don't know, Because as, you a, as a person that comes from nothing, the first thing we're going to look at, where the money, money at on this yeah, bitch? Yeah, money. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But not knowing that money got paid for your studio, yeah. your videos, your everything, your promotion, everything. Yeah. That money cut now, you got to pay your manager 20%. You got to pay your lawyer 10%. Yeah. That money cut down so fast, and it's like you got to you gotta read and you got to understand the business. You know what I'm saying? So a lot of these, you get into it, and you think it's lit, and then once you realize it's not as lit as you thought it was, if man, you, fuck that label, you, man. They let, fucked me you over. Let, no, nigga, the they did If you let the label dress you up, you're going to fall flat on your face. Mm-hmm. You got to take baby steps. Mm-hmm. If you ain't had it, you probably can do without it. Right. Absolutely. Ain't no straight hustle right. mode. You know right. what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. If, so I think a lot of them, like say they take the upfront money, they think it's a gift. Uh-huh. It's not really a gift. It's just, hey, I'm going to get you straight. Now, you got to be business-minded about how you can take care of this money. You, you know what you got to do? Saying? You know what you got to do? You got to get in your mode. Hey, yeah. man. Yeah. Look at, 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 I see you, 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 Drop King music, this that mold money on the man every day. Go get yeah, those flip flops. Live right now on the DOS. <laughs> they gotta go get their flip flops. We gotta get the contract back from the money man on this side. He all with there. We need to catch him. And we're gonna catch the diamond man right up in the center here. He all with there around 3 30. I know we can get him. We gotta get him while we can. Y'all ready? All right, these are for y'all. I'm back in my mode again. Yeah. I'm back in my mode again. Yeah. I'm back in my bag again. Oh. Back on my shit about to kill. Uh, back in the kitchen about to whistle. Fuckin' one time, a nice bitch. Cost a lot of money for the feature. Uh, my fuckin' bitch, my sneakers. Uh, fought it on my hip like a people. Uh, all these diamonds in my real watch. Feel fuckin' hoes off the TikTok. Uh, my fuckin' bitch, my flip flops. Pulls it up like a B-Box uh, Fuckin' one time, nice meet you Cost a lot of money for the feature uh, Might fuck a bitch, my sneakers uh, Fought it on my hip like a people uh, All these diamonds in my real watch Deal fuckin' hoes off the TikTok uh, Might fuck a bitch in my flip-flops uh, Eat the pussy up like a B-Box uh, Drop phone ringin' out the hood uh, I can read a bitch like a bull uh, She ain't comin' home, she too uh, Back she slappin' on the wood uh, All these diamonds, they drippin', ain't it? Give some hustle, boom, she creepin', ain't it? I don't look like have another shit up. They curl bustin' on the lip. Uh, Miff a grill, a bottle, now I'm dunkin' on them. Lot of toes stubborn, now I'm walkin' on them. Porsche pull up, yeah, I'm flexin' on them. Something like a god, now I'm blessin' on them. Something like a pimp without the limb. Uh, y'all some peewees, y'all scrimps. Mind diamond shinin' real hard. Yeah, y'all shakin' lookin' real damn. Got a lot of ink like a pen. Y'all niggas who never win. Uh, Tired of these niggas like the white folks. Y'all saving hoes, no hero. Doing them on the scan like the Lego. Take a nigga shit like I'm Debo. Y'all nigga cool with being zeros. Snatch a bitch up, that's a repo. Fuckin' one time, a nice bitch. Cost a lot of money for the feature. Uh, might fuck a bitch, my sneakers. Fought uh, it on my hip like a beeper. Uh, all these diamonds in my real watch. Deal fuckin' hoes off the TikTok. Uh, might fuck a bitch in my flip flops. Beat the pussy up like a B box. Uh, Fuckin' one time, a nice bitch. Cost a lot of money for the feature. Uh, might fuck a bitch, my sneakers. Uh, Fought it on my hip like a beeper. Uh, all these diamonds in my real watch. Deal fuckin' hoes off the TikTok. Uh, might fuck a bitch in my flip flops. Beat the pussy up like a B box. I'm back in my mode. I'm back in my mode. I'm back in my bag. I'm back in my bag. Back on my shit about to kill it. Back, back in the kitchen about to win. Kicking kick my flay, let it get my flay.
Fuck it one time, nice bitch. Cost a lot of money for the feature. Uh, might fuck a bitch, my sneakers. Uh, fought it on my hip like a people. Uh, all these diamonds in my real watch. Uh, still fucking hoes out the TikTok. Uh, might fuck a bitch in my flip flops. Uh, beat the pussy up like a B-box. Uh, fuck it one time, nice bitch. Cost a lot of money for the feature. Uh, might fuck a bitch, my sneakers. Uh, fought it on my hip like a people. Uh, all these diamonds in my real watch. Still fucking hoes out the TikTok. Uh, my fucking bitch in my flip flops. Be the pussy up like a bee box. I'm back on my mode. I, and now can I break this down too? When I say still fuck hoes on TikTok, that mean on my time. Right. I just use TikTok real right. When I say fuck a bitch on my sneaks and flip flop, that mean, hey, bitch, I'm in a rush. Right. I ain't coming out to your club. Right. I'm right. in a wop, 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 and I gotta get a yeah. belly in that baby. Right. So it's metaphor and titty, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. So when you got your flip flop, baby, I'm in a rush. You know right. what I'm saying? Don't, don't get too comfortable. So that was that was, man. A lot of people don't understand exactly what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just gonna be a quick one, you know what I'm saying? We ain't gonna make it lose. We have to clean it up. We gonna make it lose. Get caught. Yeah. Yeah, you know. Because you got to wipe it off. Yeah, live. Y'all are y'all are the fuck up all your shit. Shut up. You clean it down. The fuck up your shit. Better lie. Better lie. Hey, hey, y'all don't wipe it off. Watch out for that. Fucking hoes and flip flops on TikTok and shit. You forgot to wipe it off. All you do is pay attention. Uh, Steal fucking hoes off of TikTok. Steal off my time. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. I don't know what y'all talking about. That doesn't exist. We are faithful black men at the show. Black men don't cheat. Hold on, let me say this. I am a hundred percent. Singer, y'all. So uh, I ain't did nothing wrong. I ain't did nothing wrong. I'm single right now. Well, the rest of us. Wait for the rest of y'all. Don't y'all do it. We are 100% faithful, faithful black men. Please please okay. Please we please we believe in the greater good. We believe yeah. that the black queen is hey, everything. Yeah. And we treat them the way they are hey, supposed to be treated. But here at the DOS. No, no. Can you get relaxed, nigga? God damn. And we treat them the way they are supposed to be treated. It is Women's Month. It is Women's Month. Appreciation oh, Month. Yep. Shout out to all my beautiful women that tune into us, that support us. We love you. We support Bro. you. We know what the fuck you mean to hey, don't us. Hey, don't you me, little man. Hey, you me, little man. Can you shut up? We understand that the women run the world. We understand that God is a woman. We understand that your body is the most important temple on this earth. We understand and as men, we are supposed to provide for you and take care of you. Uh-huh. And we understand that. And women, we love you. Hey, you know you're going to be coming home and breaking that new equipment. What you talking about? This ain't no anybody. This is your girl. Women. <laughs> All women. All women, uh-huh. we love you. You know your girl get on break won't come home quick. We yeah. got time for all the. Just keep doing what you're doing. Know. <laughs> <Be quick. laughs> so listen, <laughs> women, we love you. So listen, <laughs> at DOS, there's been a thing where it's like, you know how I don't know how old I don't know how old y'all are. You know what I'm saying? Daddy I can tell y'all a little bit. <laughs> you might be a little bit older than I am, you know what I'm saying? But there's a there's a comparison that gets thrown around, and that is uh, Michael Jordan and Kobe Bryant, right? Mm. And if you're of an older age, you believe that Kobe Bryant could never fuck with Michael Jordan. You feel what I'm saying? And if you come from a generation like me, it's like, but Kobe Bryant did everything Michael Jordan do, but he could shoot better. He could do a couple things better than Michael Jordan. You feel what I'm saying? He might not have six, but he got five. So at DOS, uh, K-Tone is like Michael Jordan. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and there's a certain, there's a certain, there's a certain uh, energy that no matter what the fuck I do, I can't fuck with K-Tone. You know what I'm saying? It's K-Tone. It's a legend. This nigga gonna get a, a statue. You know what I'm saying? When it's all said and done. But I feel like I'm Kobe. You feel mm-hmm. what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, you can't fuck with Michael Jordan. You got the shoes. You got everything. You know what I'm saying? So season three has been sort of. You remember when? Remember when Kobe couldn't get Chris Paul? <laughs> You remember yeah. that happened? Nigga didn't accept the trade. Yeah, they didn't want the Kobe trade, was yeah. still going crazy. He was going crazy, but I wasn't. He wasn't winning. You know what I'm saying? He was. He put the numbers up, <laughs> but he, he wasn't winning. Win he was yo. still being Kobe. <laughs> uh, 
So season three. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I've been putting numbers on the board, basically. But I haven't been winning. You feel what I'm saying? I haven't been winning, y'all. You feel what I'm saying? That's but I'm still setup. a GOAT. That's the setup. I'm yeah. still a GOAT. I'm yeah. still a legend. I still come with that shit. You know what I'm saying? When I'm on the court, I'm still balling. But I ain't been winning. Jordan ain't never had to go through that. Because the yep. league did what they had to do with Jordan. So every Sunday, we do this thing at DOS. And I'll tell y'all, to tell y'all this. Every Sunday, we do this thing at DOS where we decide who were the best shoes. Mm. To the DOS, to to mm. Kate Tone and Squizzy Taylor's uh, uh, digital online uh, uh, showcase. Okay, uh, so season one and two, I had I had Shaq. I felt like I had Shaq with me. I was I was two time champion. I went back to back. Easy, easy work. I'm pulling out that shit. You feel what I'm saying? Season three, Kate Tone used that 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 Jordan that Jordan legacy. It's like he dropped that that last game series that the thirty and thirty that he did. It's like he dropped that shit. <laughs> I ain't want shit. You feel what I'm saying? It's episode six. I done whooped his ass time and time again, but it doesn't matter. The people are not with me. You feel what I'm saying? I don't got the team. I don't have a team. I'm putting up the numbers. I'm putting up the numbers, but I don't have a team. You feel what I'm saying? And he won the championships on my ass. Back to back to back to back to back. You know what I'm saying? But I understand because he's a legend. He's it, yeah. It's Jordan. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and it's his birthday. So watch what happens. Uh, but I want you to understand. understand. So you say you got the manager already. But I'm coming with that <laughs> shit. So, as you know, with no further ado, okay, then, I sure. came with the gold and black. Okay. You know what I'm okay. saying? But if you, if you look at both of my bitches, I got the goddamn gold tip and I got the white tip. You know what I'm saying? Okay. I came with the ones like that. You know what I'm saying? Classic. <laughs> that type of time. Okay. You know what I'm saying? And okay. K-Tone came with the brand new. Ooh, with the brand new. Okay. 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 You see how y'all already did? Y'all okay. see how y'all already came? He came with the brand new flag kicking baby blue joints that just dropped. And I would love to know what y'all came with tonight because y'all are in the runners as well. We just never lose over here. I got the William Foes, baby. These were so nice. Oh, nice. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, Q Ball. What you got? He got the custom Louis ones. You know what I'm saying? Yes, I'm sick too. Put them up there. Join the, the 85s, if y'all notice. 1985. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Dang. He come with the four man. Yeah. Okay. 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 Zeus, Zeus came with the, the, the Air Max, Air the 95s. <laughs> the 95 Air Max. I see them all red. Actually, he got the two tones. Them the two tones. Yeah, these, hey man. I'm keeping that. I'm keeping that. Them the two tones. Them the two tones. <laughs> yeah, two tones. See, you can't get like this, Bad Jack. <laughs> you gotta look at the right now. Me and Joe got the same birthday, so he called me and said he had him for about like okay, three little mics. I'm gonna wear him on the show today, bro. So me and Mike be tripping like did it, dang. And Shorty got the neon, the neon heels on. Yeah, I'm fucking all y'all up. But my feet, I'm about to How your feet feel? Oh, I'm gonna cut them off. Okay, so they hurt, so you can't win. Hey, I ain't. Cause I'm waiting for these shoes, but I'm trying to tell you, I got gym shoes in my back. So listen, I got some Converse. Uh, so before we go to the comments, uh, SB. If you were not to pick yourself, who are the best shoes tonight to the DOS headquarters? Man, you, I, you, you, you spoke so right, bro. No, 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 don't you? I, I'm gonna say you spoke so right. But man, Tom birthday to go with my favorite color blues. Like, yeah, I can't, I can't do that. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'd be wrong, but and he got the flat jacket to go. But you got the job. No, hey, it's listen, hard, but on, the listen, blues. Listen, I understand. Jacket, the blues. I understand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen, 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 if you are not allowed to pick yourself, who would you pick tonight? Who are the best shoes? Including everybody. Don't just look this way. Everybody. See, I'm the person that's going to make the shit boring as hell. Like, no. All no. y'all shoes, that's the same shoe, different flavors. I love all of that. Okay. Because so that's a whole pick. lot of outfits right there. So okay. I choose all of them. No, no, no. No, well, then just I just hurry up now. Come on now. Don't be that person. Just pick somebody got that shoe if we can keep going. You got to pick. I ain't picking. Which ones would you buy? All of them. No. God if you damn, say one. the big one. Come on. <laughs> go to a what shoe. I wear, you what I wear. What I wear. It depends on what I'm wearing. All right, wear. think about it. Think yeah, about go it. To the Zeus, next person. you can't pick yourself. You got to pick a shoe, including them foes over there. 
And them heels. Everybody got some Rock nice shoes on. We out here doing what we do. <laughs> Dirt, clean, whatever. Them, but, uh, uh, I don't know, because Cuba fucking them up. <laughs> yeah, he got no fucking Louis. That's like, that's some shit I do. Mm-hmm. Motherfucking trench coat. Q balls tonight? But I gotta go with them powder blue. Ooh! Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm trying, I'm trying yeah. not to be that person. Hey, 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 yours, 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 it happened. You won't let me play the devil's advocate. Like I said, Michael Jordan. I can't play the devil's advocate. I want to like all the shoes. Q ball, you cannot pick yourself. Damn. It's Come on, hard. you know what you got to pick, man. Come on with well, it. Well, I'm going I'm to just, just do this, man. Since I can't pick myself, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? I'm going to just. I'm going to go with Squizzy. Nah, man. don't do that. No, nah, I'm going to go with Squizzy. You don't want no goddamn chair. No, no, no. I'm going to go with Squizzy, man. I'm going to go with Squizzy. You don't want no chair. No, to be honest with you. I love the color. Tell them something. You know what I'm saying? I like these. I actually wanted to get some, but I didn't get them yet. Because I had them shoes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so keep y'all shoes yeah. tight because he said you're going to grow I appreciate you. I want y'all to understand that real recognize real. You feel what I'm saying? And the DJ's going to recognize the DJs. You got to understand these artists need their records play. Oh, shit. It don't matter who I play, but when the GOAT play, Stop. it means something different. So they had to do what they had to do because the GOAT is here. You feel what I'm saying? I understand. But the DJ going to keep it real because one thing DJs do is we keep it real. But these artists, they got to politics. See, oh. They gotta go with the goat. They gotta go with the goat. I tried to say it. I tried to say it. But that's the difference between Kobe Bryant and Michael Jordan. It's all, it all comes down to that. But, like I said, it is what it is. K Tone wins again. You know how that goes. Happy it's birthday, it's fly his guy. birthday. It's his fucking birthday. Happy birthday, my brother. We love you to death. 14th annual DJ K Tone birthday bash. Next year we're doing 15, and the year after that, and the year after that, and we're gonna do this bitch for the ever and ever and ever and ever. And we love y'all, and we appreciate y'all, and goddamn, we appreciate y'all, and we want y'all to keep doing everything y'all doing. And if y'all ain't got y'all flowers, we want y'all to know y'all dope, and we don't bring people that are not dope on this show. So I want y'all to know that y'all are dope as fuck, and we support everything that y'all doing. And if y'all need anything, you got K Tone support, as y'all know, but y'all also got my support and anything sure, yeah. I could do. Cause y'all motherfuckers is dope and it's love forever sure. in Denver. Fuck with y'all. Yeah. And goddamn, keep doing what y'all doing. Right. Love. Sure, man. Appreciate you. Just like that. And just like that, we tap up. We gone. Yes. For the record, for the record. Hurry up, these man. right here are some West Side Chicago help. colors. <laughs> yeah. And these right here are some South Side Chicago colors, and I'm a West Side nigga, so y'all can do what y'all want with that. <laughs> 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 there we go. <laughs> 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 <laughs>